Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint Germain family to the PSG versus FC Barcelona Ultimate Podcast Reaction. We'll be soon having some PSG guests discussing the upcoming game. How is everyone doing? Welcome, Adu Ago. This is Fari. What's up, Simplistic? I'm good, I'm good. We're on that small club. We'll absolutely destroy them. Oh, good, good. Love the t-shirt. I just got it. Look, guess the name of the shirt. Guess the name of... I have them on the back. It's a football... It's a, obviously a PSG player. And I need you guys. Oh, thank you so much. I will do that now. Merci beaucoup. Yo, what's up, Daniel Brown? Maji, welcome, welcome. Dagte? What's that? Yes, sir. No Barcola. No. Oh, Ugarte? No. Yes, sir, top man. Man, you've been here since the get go. We win it. All right. We have a winner. Silly Congratulations. Nuno Mendes, number 25. And I got another shirt. I got the black one. It's absolutely stunning. Jordan Hunter, baby. Guess the name on this one. Guess the name on this one. Nah, Nuno Mendes, Nuno Mendes. No, no, no. Cur current player. All right. Do this one. Current PSG player. No, no, Zara Emery. Oh. <laughs> No, Vitinho, welcome, Rivi, welcome, David. No, Beraldo. No, Mbappe. I have an PayPal shirt. Plus, he's leaving. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want his name, man. I, I could have just written Ratio if I wanted. No, Mbappe. No, Mbappe, no. No, Hernandez. No. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, yeah, got the black one and I got the beige one. We're absolutely cooking. We're absolutely cooking. Hopefully PSG starts wearing these two jerseys a bit more. I love them, man. Yeah, you, you got to get them boos, man. Yo, what's up, Max? What's up, SSB? Welcome. Yes, sir. Great from Sook. <laughs> Which of the case do you think we're wearing doing away at Barca? Because they will wear home uh, blue, red. Probably wear white, as we did last time we played them. Probably our second away, second kit. I mean, I've been seeing Fabian ever since that Newcastle game, baby. Uh, Rivi, it was uh, your boy Tayo who hooked us up. Uh, let me... Uh, I don't know if I have it in DM here. It's from the old account. Yeah, I don't have it here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to make sure, Rivi. I'm going to make a video about it, promotion video. That's how I got these two shirts. So yeah, check them out. Beautiful jerseys, man. <laughs> dub, dub, dub. Jordi, come on, come on, man. You support Madrid. You support Madrid, man. You can't be behaving like this. I don't know why, Kingsley. For me, it's copium, a.k.a. delusion, a.k.a. drugs, a.k.a. alcohol. Yes, sir, FP. I, I want a Tony bomb. 
I was talking, you know, with David and so on when we made the thing. And they wanted to pop it off a bit more later today and tomorrow, more specifically about the tomorrow's game and and just general stuff. Maybe maybe we won't have a pod tomorrow, Tony. Maybe tomorrow's pod is removed today instead. <laughs> yes, sir. Optimus has a stick in favor to each other's league. Don't say I disagree. We cooking, bro. Look, we weren't even top 16 before. And now we top two. Coming for that one spot, baby. Extremely confident, man. Okay, Jordi. I mean, you, you have a bunch of corruption as well. Like, no, no club should be acting like corruption free. Yeah. Now, you know what? I have no issue with Barca being confident. Uh, for me, just the, the, the delusion. The delusion. <laughs> PSG, Madrid, Bayern, Atletico. You're a huge favorite, but you do agree that if you get knocked out, you'll never let, live it down. Oh, 100%, Tony, 100%. Yes, sir. I don't see them winning, but it's, it's definitely going to be a difficult game, but look, there are no easy games in the Champions League. Tricky game? Not impossible. Maybe Warren, maybe Marquinhos. We still don't know. Yes, sir. No, Tony. I mean, I, I don't have them saved here on my new Twitter account, but we were like barely eight after uh, the group stages. Tony, the streets are cooked. Ca filled of casuals, man. 4-1, 4 Probably Yamal. Yes, Jordi, yes. We're going to face in the final. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kirk Reeby. We got boy DJ here. We haven't heard his uh, thoughts about body sentiment drawing against Barca. How are you feeling, DJ? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, hey, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Uh, now I'm I'm really happy with the draw. I can't lie. The the, the side of the bracket we got put on, it's, the, it's as good as we could have hoped mm. for, you know. I mean, you you've well, always you wanted, you know, the easy route. You wanted Dortmund, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I think maybe Barca are easier than Dortmund. Maybe because I don't know. I feel like the the one thing with Dortmund is they're so unpredictable. But with Barcelona, we know they're not very good. So maybe yeah. they it's a better draw than Dortmund. But yeah, no, I'm no, I'm I, I feel amazing, man. I feel amazing. Yeah. I I want to Barca. I called I called them out and, and we got them, man. <laughs> like if, if we take a look at you know deep stats to compare the two teams, we can actually do that. So yeah, if we if we start with the simple one, which is just uh, two radars. Okay. Um, Barcelona this season. So PSG. just a gen general performance this season, then. Yeah, I mean it's it's not one hundred percent you know accurate and so on, but yeah. it tells you a bit of the picture. Okay. Again, I I don't know why like this hasn't been updated for PSG. I think it's it's a bit bugged, but I I do believe they're a bit better than us in physicality. But they also play in La Liga a much less physical league than Liga, and, but better at counters, better at goals. I don't think we're as like I don't see them as good as us in pressing. Definitely not. That's why. Instead of looking at this, we'll actually look at deeper stats instead because that will, will tell us actually a better story. So, what stats would you want to look at? Goals for 90? Um, uh, what, what do you think would be best? I'm not sure. Okay, there's PSG. What, what are the stats has the, the thing got? 
Well, I'm just trying to add Barca. All right. So th this is goals for 90. Okay. You trying to find us? There's Barca. To... Okay, okay. Right. So goals for 90 were better. Uh, XG per 90 we better. Uh, shots on target per 90 better. Shots on target percentage they're actually better. That's because they have less shots. Passes completed we better. Um, possession pretty much the same. Positional attacks per 90, pretty much the same. Counter attacks for 90. Uh, I think pretty much the same. I think Kipas are here as well. Um, goals conceded per 90. I think we're higher. We're we? much better. Much oh, okay. better defensively than FC Barcelona. Hmm. Like it's not even it's not even a discussion. Shots against per 90. They actually concede less shots. Yeah, but can see more goals. Okay, maybe what that uh, says is their individuals are worse. Ter Stegen is worse than Donnarumma, yeah. and they face probably like tougher, tougher shots better, than what we do. Yeah, better quality. Yeah, better sure. quality. Yeah. So this is defensive duels per ninety, but again, this has a lot to do with how much you don't have the ball and so on. Yeah. Uh, so this only one, only last one we should look at: passive defensive. Again. It tells us that we're similar when it comes to pressing, but I know for a certain we're a much better pressing team than FC Barcelona. Maybe not much better, but better team than FC Barcelona. So according to all the stats, the deep line stats, we are a better team than FC Barcelona. Yeah, I think we are. I think we are for sure. So can you see anything other than, than a victory for Paris Saint-Germain here? <laughs> You know, with PSG, you never know. But uh, I feel very confident, you know, going into the game, though. Shit, man. Yeah. We we gone up here? <laughs> Hello, Wagwan. Mo, Wagwan, DJ. Hey, you good? Bill, What's I, up, guys? I, I, I guess you're going to be a classic here on the channel. <laughs> for the upcoming three, four weeks, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back to the old days. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm actually going to be humble, though. I want to be humble, man. Wait, Phil, give me give me a percentage. PSG to advance and Barca to advance. Uh, 65, 35, Barca. Who is 65? <laughs> Barca. Phil, you said you'd Bro, be humble. I'm humble. But you, but you would say 90 to 10 percent, bro. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, Phil, Phil, why do you think you guys are 65 percent favorites? What do you see that because you like? Because I see, uh, like, personally, if this tie, like, let's say if we were to play at the at the at the beginning of the season, then I would be yeah. less optimistic. Because at the beginning of the season, we were a lot worse, you know. Um, we were conceding way more goals. Um, we had lots of injuries. We have been playing terrible, you know. So like, I know Mo was talking about the stats about the goals we conceded, but yeah. if you actually look at the last seven games, we have only conceded like one goal per game. But prior to that, you will concede like three goals per game. Okay. Ever since we put Chris and. Um, Chris and um, Christensen and midfield yeah. helped us yeah. a lot de defensively, you know. So that's kind of okay. one reason why I'm more confident, you know. And also, I mean, Lamal, bro, like he's been playing very well. Le level two improved, you know. So that's why I'm more confident now than before, okay. you know. So yeah, I hear that. But um, man, shut your bitch ass up! Oh, shut no, your bitch no, ass up! No. <laughs> Bro, honestly, man, I feel so slain right now, bro. Like, like a pond with no ripples, you know. Just shit, just so calm. 
You know what I'm saying? Shit just so called. Like, nigga, they literally said, PSG, here you go. You were the final. No, you were the fucking didn't. final. Uh, like, all they did, they, nigga, they just said, yo, oh let's God. put these two dudes in the final, bro. Like, let's just put you got these boys in the final. Let's just run the Mbappe narrative. That is what you wish, man. You think they're going to make a final of Madrid? And PSG just for Mbappe, bro. Mbappe's not that big in the sport to script the whole. No, I don't really get it. I, don't, I actually don't care. Like, I don't relax, care what happens. Like, in the, like, but the thing is, Ant, Ant been talking about it. Like we've been talking about this no, shit. We, just imagine. All right. It's gonna be like when 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 Neymar left in the quarters. You know when Ronaldo left in the quarters. And was, just a a new ritual, bro. Like it's no final doesn't. Ronaldo leaving in the quarters? When did Ronaldo leave in the quarters? Oh, no. Like you, Actually, within the quarters? No, no. Actually, I think he left after winning the, the CL. Never mind. Yeah, he left after winning the Champions League. Oh, never mind. 2018. Yeah. But I, I feel, I just don't understand. What, what is it that makes you confident? For example, I can say what makes me confident, Phil. Okay. okay I can say we have a better manager. Much okay, more yeah. experienced, much better leader, has been at the stage several times before in his career. This is Xavi's second knockout game. Second of all, mm -hmm. the Champions League is a moments tournament. Mm -hmm. We have the best moments player in the world, by far. The best big game player. Okay. You don't have any good big game player. Okay. Yamaha 16. Levi is ass. No, no, no. no. You can't say, you can't say Lewa's ass. Leva is asshole, Phil. Lowa, Lowa is only not, getting, he's Lowa only not getting what the fifth is happening. If Lewa plays well, it'll be probably in the second leg. And that's uh, maybe. That's maybe. Bro, he's not doing shit at the park. Bro, he's not doing shit at the park. That's seen, clamps. All right. Bro, we saw Isaac do something. We saw, like, bro, like. What did Isaac do? Yeah, what did Isaac didn't do? He, didn't he score and you almost scored a second goal at, at the park? And oh yeah, no, but that, that was a top in. Yeah, that was a top in though. That was a key. Yeah, mistake. but you know, it's still Although, the goal, one, but... one thing, one thing I will say is, I feel like sometimes we do struggle with those called physical strikers. Because like when when teams you know put put a lot of crosses. Isaac ain't physical though. No, no, not Isaac. Le Lewandowski. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so like I feel like sometimes when teams, I I don't know, I don't watch Barca like that. Do you guys cross often? Not that. We, we do, but not as much as before. Okay, okay. Oh, maybe, maybe not then. No, mm. but more. Or if, let, now, let me finish up. Let yeah, me go, 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 go. Mbappe being yeah, a big go. game player. Yeah. We know that Mbappe will score, you know, goals when we need it. We don't know if Leva or Yamal can do that for you guys. Yamal is a, is a great talent, but he's nowhere a finished article, a finished product. Then we can look at goalkeeper situation, Phil. They're shaking. You guys want him shipped to Saudi? No, we don't. But he's Stop. rejecting the contract offers. Oh, go. Can, 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 can. And then your midfield, your two best midfielders, one guy, Gavi, is out for the rest of the season, and Pedri is playing worse than Gundogan. Yeah, because and, and he would even miss the first leg. Like it would be what Fermi Lopez, Gundogan, and Christensen. <laughs> no, it would be Frankie, Gundogan, and Christensen. That's like, me. Like, 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 like that is so me. How is your midfield even better? Because I, I don't see I don't I don't see three v three. Vitinha, Fabian, um, Warren, Zaya, Emery can't outplay that midfield three. The, what's so special about that midfield three? Like the there's nothing. Why did you always ask? Bro, that's what I'm saying. Like it's kind of close to an even matchup. It's an even matchup. It's really okay, an so even matchup. It's like even, it's, but honestly, it's close to talking, even. There's nothing. There's nothing special the about Mo and you guys are talking like, oh, you guys like are clear favorites, bro. We'll have long spells of possession against your team. You you don't move. You, you well think enough. so? You think yes. So? Really yes, see. we will. We yeah, will. Phil, who do you think will win the position battle? Us for sure. All right. <laughs> Plus, look, no, look, at no, your, no. You look at your press triggers. Kunde, that's food. Whenever Kunde, Kunde no, receives no, the Kunde ball, whoever, good, whoever, whoever's, at, whoever's at fullback is, is food. Araujo, press trigger. Christensen, pe press oh, trigger. It's, it's food. So, Will Kayla isn't a press trigger? 
Mukele. What do you mean Mukele? Like Mukele, Mukele gonna Mukele start? Been... Like stop saying Mukele. Like he gonna bro, start. He's, he's not gonna start, bro. You know that Tosin. Stop acting like he's. Lucha is going to do something yeah. like who, who out of the box. Start? Uh, it only starts, man. Phil, it's going to be Warren or Marquinhos. Mukiele is 0%. Okay, okay, okay. We can make it okay. better, Phil. Okay, you, you love betting okay. now. <laughs> <laughs> no, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> no, no, Mo. Okay. If Marquinhos, I mean, if Warren is centered on the, like, as a fullback, who is going to, yeah. who is going to replace, no, who is going to play in midfield? Do that since he's gonna be like Kangi Lee probably. Kangi Lee probably. <laughs> See, you guys have to respect me, bro. You said Kangi Lee, bro. <laughs> well, that's a good player. Oh, come on, DJ. No, well, that's a good piece. Good. What do you mean, Tosin? I know you don't rate him, bro. I bro, he lit up y'all league. He lit up y'all league last season. What you mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I don't know where, like where you PSG. You know, as much as I'm, I'm a Barca fan, yeah, and like. I'm not confident, but I don't know where you guys are getting your confidence from, bro. Because when I look at you guys this season, bro, like, yo was, you guys were sweating to get out of that group of yours, man. And you, and you guys were playing against teams that, let's be honest, bro, AC yep. Milan, they're not having a great season. Newcastle, they've been shit this season. Dortmund aren't really that Thank great you, of a too. team. So yep, that, bro, you know, let's be honest, like, you know, so that as much as, there is this hype around them, and they're a good team. If you know anything about Sociedad, you know that every the reason why they rarely make the Champions League a top four is because every season they have like a they go through a really rough patch exactly. where they're like just dog shit. And like you guys really caught them at the perfect time where they are like going through that patch. And you guys, uh, would you them. say them or Napoli are better? Who's better, them or Napoli? I will say, you know, it is very tough to compare because. Those two clubs were in a very different position because uh, Napoli, they just got a new manager. There is a bounce. You know, but it's very difficult to compare. But I will say that what Napoli, the associate that and their manager, he's a very naive and stubborn coach. Like you could tell that he didn't go out of his way to mock like Mbappe out of the game, bro, playing like a suicidal high line. He played, you know. I, I kind of lost respect. I, I, I kind of, because we've been linked to the associate that manager, you know. And exactly, he, I really yeah. ro- lost respect for him for the way, the naivety in the way he approached those PhD legs. Because, like, he just played into your hands. The way he's playing. So you're saying he should have sat back. Aren't, so aren't you, back aren't you guys going to play the same against us? You know, the thing is with Javi that I've, I've come to learn about him is that this season he has... He's actually became more flexible in his tactics. I agree that in the first season and a half when he came in, he was exactly like you say, like very stubborn, high high line every game, high line, high line, bigger, small team, the same way. But this season, actually, against the bigger teams, we are willing to give up the ball, bro, and just sit back and, and counter play transi- transitional football. And I will say this season, honestly, bro, I think there's been a contrast in the way we play in the league and the way we play in the Champions League because I feel like we have some players who are really only turning it on in the in the in the Champions League. For example, Cancelo, bro. I don't know if you've noticed, but like in every Champions League game, he's played really good for us. But in the league, he does he doesn't do much, bro. Like he hasn't Agreed. been that good in the league. Um, I feel like we have some players who are really only showing their best aspects in the. In the in the Champions League, but what I will say is about PSG, what worries me, what worries me the most isn't actually Mbappe, bro, because I've seen us deal with Vinny on multiple occasions. I I, I know that if like a team has like one very dangerous attacker, I've seen from like from past games that we can nullify or we can make it work. We can nullify their game. Where, where we do have a problem, though, in this situation is that not only do you have Mbappe, but you also have other threats in attack, like Dembele. And um, I don't trust Cancelo defensively, bro. Like, that's a big wor- worry of mine, is what Dembele is going to do to Cancelo, because Cancelo, he loves going forward, bro. And you cannot leave Dembele unmarked. So I am very worried, because honestly... 
I've seen Mbappe get pocketed, bro. Like, I've seen him have bad games. I've seen him get pocketed. But my issue is that, say Mbappe has a shit game, or uh, say Araujo pockets him. What about Dembele? Is he going to have a bad game as well? Is Cancelo going to pocket him? Most likely not. Is it going to happen the same game? No, it's not. Most likely not. And you have different, like, attackers. You have a strong bench. So, I, I, I'm worried, bro. Like, I'm going to be honest. Like, you guys are favorites. And deservedly so, because you have a better percentage. Team but I will say is that I've seen a lot of people. Like, I just saw your review, your reaction. And, like, you're yeah. completely writing Basta off, bro. Like, you're like, oh. Well, 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 why, why, why shouldn't I? I, I you saw you guys because no, because you've played against mid teams and you've not looked comfortable. We can talk about the game versus Napoli, for example, which Barca fans were hyping up about. You did not look comfortable. You were like world class elite in the first twenty minutes, but then for the majority of the rest of the game, you looked lackluster. And Napoli were the team that had you know better chances, and they just didn't take their chances. So if Napoli is doing that to you at home. What do you think Paris Saint-Germain, the most threatening team in the world, will do to y'all? But that's the thing, like, you can't... You, that logic is flawed, because I can tell you, for example... Why? Um, back in December, we was playing a horrendous football, bro, for, like, a long time. And then in the same week, we had to play Porto at home and Atletico Madrid at home. And let me just tell you, Atletico, they were flying, bro. Like, people were saying, these guys are going to challenge for the league... They're going to go for the Champions League, the UCL contenders. And we smacked them, bro. We played amazingly for 90 minutes at home. We smacked them. We we beat them. We should have beat them much more than 1-0. But it was an amazing performance. So the one thing I would tell you, like, with this Barca team, bro, we are very inconsistent and very unpredictable, bro. So, like, you never know. Is it going to be another one of those games where we just have an amazing performance? That's the thing, like... With us, like this is why I kind of, I I I kind of I kind of I see where you're coming from when you're writing us off, but at the same time, bro, I'm telling you, we can just turn it on because I've seen it this season. Atletico Madrid, very good team, bro. We dismantled them. This we destroyed them, bro. And it came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere because Xavi was close to getting sacked, and we had an amazing performance. We've had good performances this season. But we've also had, like you know, Real Madrid. We played Real Madrid in the first game where we lost two one. That game we were we were we were had a really good performance, bro. Yeah. But yeah. Jude Bellingham long shot and uh, our heads dropped and we lost the game. But it was a really good game. But I will say that like if you guys take the lead, I mean we are not like mentality wise we are not all there, bro. Like our heads do drop, bro. And if you say you go two nil up in the first leg, bro. I think it, it might get nasty. It might get nasty if you guys keep pushing. Okay, See, so that's, I, a, that's the thing you don't like. Just... Wait, but yeah, like that's the thing he didn't really, you know, talk about. That's that's where the context comes in because you know he was talking about Abdul was talking about um uh that PSG have been struggling, we're struggling in that quote unquote group of death when we generated the most chances by far in that group. By far, like it wasn't even close. So we underperformed our expected goals. How much was it? What was the variance? And I think it was it was by far number one. So we just have XG to cash in on. That's why we scored four. Look, Sociedad, okay, we caught them at a quote unquote bad time in the season, but everyone was gassing up Sociedad in the Champions League, even because they topped the group with Inter. Um they had probably the best defensive record in that in that group as well. Like so, they just and they hadn't conceded two goals at all through the campaigns. They conceded two goals in within like fifteen minutes, no five minutes. Was it five or six minutes against PSG? So PSG are just an explosive team. Like we're explosive possession wise, and then on the counter, it's just. Like we can go both ways. Whereas but, Barcelona, you, know, you, you see, know, there's you know what I will say Barcelona. The Lewandowski, point, the Lewandowski point that INT made is 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 so true, bro. Lewandowski is finished. He's washed. This guy played. Wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Is that Abdul? Yeah, it's me. me. <laughs> what, what, you, what? You? you know, you know. Yo, uh, Abdul. Yo, yo, one second. Abdul. Yo, yo, KJ, KJ, KJ. One second, one second. Yo, you know Lewandowski, bro. 
bitch. Like, yo, I, no, I, I, yo, 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 no. Well, I ain't see, I'm gonna have to veto this whole bill. We're gonna have to veto this whole bill. <laughs> no way that's I'm Google in here. No way that's I'm Google in here speaking like he's so coherent. Yo, I'm doing. I'm going to allow it, Abdul. I'm going to allow it, bro. I'm going to allow it. Go, you're making good points. Go on. Go on. Yeah, no, no. Oh. I was just saying, like, on the Lewandowski thing, yeah. Genuinely, if he's... If we have a better chance of beating PSG if he got benched. Because no, this no, no, guy's... No. Oh, his overall play is horrendous, bro. Like, no, no. his pressing is crap. His... Tra his... His, um, his overall play, his link-up is horrendous. He's so slow, bro. Like, he offers no danger. He has... Like his occasional, like good shot or occasional goal, but overall, bro, like he, he like he's genuinely detrimental to our attack. No, um, no, no, yeah, I, if we just get if we get no, tight no. to him, if we all we just need to do is get tight to him. That's no, it. If you, you and he's your, for me, he's your only danger man because he's your no, only no. goal scorer. So like if we if we shut him out. And bro, like, you can easily shut him out. Is, He's been shut yeah, off by so exactly. Many. Like if you shut him out, it's all. It's I think it's game yeah, over yeah, yeah. for Barca. And Abdul, one thing I wanted to, to, to ask you before. The teams you mentioned before, like even the Napoli game or the Atletico Madrid game, you mentioned these are not teams that want to keep the ball. And I think that's why you've had like easy route with them. Teams that want the ball, that's the issues Barca have. For example, I watched you guys versus Real Sociedad earlier this season. Away. Obviously, different game, different time, different Sociedad team and everything. But you struggled a lot moving the ball out from the press and keeping possession against them. And you're facing Paris Saint-Germain, who are a better pressing team and a better possession team. I think that's your weakness. And you say, oh, we, we're adaptive. We can play in this defensive position and we can defend. But you're not. Like, Barca is built to have the ball. Barca are not built to not have the ball. Yamal is not a good defender without the ball. Rafinha is not a good defender without the ball. Gundogan is not a good defender without the ball. Kunde, if he's put on an island with Barcola or Mbappe, there's no chance. And you previously talked about Cancelo Dembele. So if you guys pull up to the park and play defensive and conservative, that's oh, not going to work out for you. That's, that's so not going to... Like, you should play your football. You should not adapt. If you adapt, no, it's, it's even worse. No, but worse. they're fucked either way. That's the... No, no, no. Okay. Mo, that is lazy analysis, man. Because oh. I hate Rafinha, bro. I, I literally hate him, you know? But one of his best traits is his defensive work rate. You know? And Kunde too... I, I, I would say since 2024, he had been one of our best defenders, you know? So, and why do we bring up that game against Social Dad when that was in, like, October or November? No, because that, because that was, was the team you faced I that pressed that. Your, you and wanted to have the ball. Yeah, but that... Was, you haven't faced a team that has done that again since that no, game. That's why I brought it up. No, we faced Alexico Madrid. We face um, wait, is that Phil? Is that Phil? Atletico well? Madrid is not yeah. a team field that wants to have the ball. Yes, they do. No, no, they don't. They just want they, they, they want to just come on, stop. They don't want to have no, the no, ball no. over you. Stop it. You guys, but let's be honest though. Like we we've improved ever since Javi said that he was gonna leave. Bro. We we've improved. Since yeah, y'all been running that goofy narrative. Like I heard it. Like it's like him talking about grass inspection. So like he's just grappling on to something. Like. To spur the team. Yo, but Phil, yo, Phil, let me chat to you real quick, though. Phil, how you feeling, bro? How you feeling, bro? Don't go yeah. solid now, Phil, man. How you feeling? Yo, I told dude, you I wanted you, man. Yo, on. Phil, why go on, bro? What are you saying? <laughs> you like the draw, yeah? I'm doing well. Yes, sir. Just man. I like it, bro. You were just talking about this show me my opponent and shit, right? So how you feel? Like, you, you ready? Like, in reality now, how you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good, bro. I'm feeling good, man. Like I was saying, man, like, it's going to be a, a nice tie, you know, and I think I have a chance to go through. And I like my chance. Oh, so now it's I have a chance. Wait, wait. So now it's I think I have a chance to go through. It's no more, it's no more overconfidence now, right? It's bro, no I would that. like that. I'm not like Mo and you guys, bro. I, I try no, to you had way more like, confidence what? yesterday, bro. You had way more confidence. You had bro, way more confidence bro, yesterday. Bro, I was never like that, bro. I, I always show respect to my op opponents. You sound, you sound a bit more... Well, like, like, it doesn't matter what we're doing on this network. It doesn't matter what we're doing on here. Go to the networks. Go to Barcelona's Twitter. There's only one party acting stoic in this whole thing. 
between PSG. Barcelona posting, remember this, remember that, posting one more product. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Be PSG honest, just, you know, we chilling in the are, cup. Are we silent killers. We si- we've we been silent killers all season. Toasting, toasting, toasting. Are you going to feel embarrassed if you go out to us? Oh, 100%. 100%. Like Delete the club. Bad. Delete the club. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> but, but, but you know what I would say to that is that, like, I mean, we, the thing with us is that, as I said, our incons, we also, like, I don't know how to describe this, but we are the type of team, say we're playing like an Almeria, yeah, like a, a dog shit team, we stoop, like, we play to their level, bro. And when we play better teams, we up our game. I don't know what it's called. We are very no, no. Like... Abdul, this this is the main issue too. Is, is that, that same game where Araujo season? made two mistakes? Yeah, like, I mean, like Araujo fooled. I'm just saying, like he fooled. Like he fooled, man. This is the main. <laughs> this is the main issue this season. Is that we can't finish chances. Like we are playing better footy than last season. But the thing that's holding us back is we can't finish chances. Like even even against Napoli, that game should have been dusted in the first half. But we kept them in every Who's game. Who's worse, Napoli, yeah, Napoli yeah, yeah, or Sociedad? Yeah, Who's hey, worse? Talk to me, talk to me though. What about Donnarumma? Like, bro, they're he... both mid versus mid, bro. Like, <laughs> has Donnarumma improved this season? Oh yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, I have a question. Wait, 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 I have a question to ask. Wait, I have a question to ask. Who's saying Donnarumma is mid versus mid? No, no. I'm saying Napoli and Sos and Sociedad are mid versus mid. Oh, no, okay, because, okay. because I have I have a big problem with my goalkeeper, bro, to stick and like ah. Uh, I am nah. the founder of the Testigan Out Club, but I know it's very nah, unpopular. Don't, no. don't let those Twitter accounts brainwash you, Abdul, bro. Like, he saved us a couple, a couple of times, bro. Like, even against Napoli, like, that had her save, bro. Like, yeah, people I just mean, hate on him, man. Like, I hate on him because in the big occasions, bro, he lets me down. That's why. Like, do you remember that, that Bellingham shot, bro? He should not have let that, that long shot, bro. That was criminal. But, you know, aside from that, I just wanted to ask, like, for PSG fans, what do you guys reckon is your biggest weakness, bro? And, and, and by the way, why am I not seeing Ogate on the pitch? I thought he was going to be, like, a revolution for you guys. He's not good, bro. No, don't say that. Wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait actually, he could wait, play in this yo, Epic's yo, yo, game. Yo, he could actually yo, fit he's in this stiff. game. He's too stiff. Here we go with this thing. Man, I'm saying stiff. He can bro, dominate he doesn't move his hips, bro. He can dominate he physically against uh, Barca. Nah, like, I, Barca I disagree. Cool. No, no, we're not. Right. Right. We're not the same as 2021, Bruno. We have, we have athletes. Bro, you have no. Ex- you, you, you. No, you don't. Frankie and Christian are not, are not athletes. Christensen is food in space. No, he's bro. not. See, why are you such a casual, bro? Like, Tosa, yeah. I thought like you were a, a purist, bro. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see him at the Euros. You didn't see him at the Champions League final. Like, what's up with you? Just those agendas, are different agendas, roles. Agendas, those are different agendas. roles. I no at the Euros. He was playing in midfield. Drag them to like the um, third place or yeah, semi final. Yeah, yeah, semis. Like, bro, like not everything agendas, bro. Like, wait, who like, are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Yeah, right after Christian said like this, this is crazy. <laughs> I mean, in midfield, I don't know about you know he he's not been tested like in a big game in midfield yet. So, but it's gonna be interesting to see. Like, uh, personally, I wouldn't rush Pedri back, bro, because Pedri this season, even when he's been fit and healthy, he hasn't really moved me, bro. Yeah, and same I, here. I feel like Fermin Lopez. You know, Fermin Lopez, guys. I know it's not a a name that's gonna send shivers down your your spines, bro. But he's a guy who's like, he um, he's a passion passion merchant, and he presses and he, he actually he's a attacking outlet from our midfield, who actually offers us something different, and um, you know I would just say is like he, is he better than, is he better than Bryce Mendes? Is he having a better league season than Bryce Mendes? I don't, I don't even know what that is, bro. I don't even know. You what see what is. you see what I'm saying? But he not, he not so. So, so what's the update on your injury situation? Is is Skriniar and Asensio are they gonna be back for the game? Uh, Asensio potentially. Skriniar, no. Skriniar, Skriniar, no. no. I mean, yeah. none of them are starters or have any impact at the club anymore. Like, way done the packing I, order. I do wait, feel even Skriniar, our weakest. Wait, can I can I ask this one question? Well, let me yeah, just ask yeah, this one yeah. question. Let me ask no, it's flop. Question. He just doesn't suit how we play. Yeah, so, so, so remember when we last faced Barca in twenty twenty one? 
which which is better? Are PSG better for than that 2021 team, and are Barca better than that 2021 team? That Barca week? are definitely Barca are definitely better than that 2021 team. I think the the current form. I disagree. Like, cause remember, I disagree. Wait, wait. Remember, remember. Dima, okay, I'm saying you can say disagree. I'm saying impact wise, like they have players on the pitch at that time that could impact the game more than they do have now, in my opinion. Um, but with us, the first leg we were missing Di Maria, Verratti. Like we were missing. It was a lot of people missing, and the know, form was kind of weird. Like, it was a lot of the form was weird. Right now, I think the team is playing better football. I think back then we were finishing a little bit better. Is the only thing that maybe I could say. See, my, that, that, my, my argument. My argument. Question, this, this is nah, my that's argument. A, that, that's a messed up question. That's so disrespectful. Yeah. I mean, my argument. But see, why just is, ignored those? Wait, why was it Like long oh, lay, man. long lay, peak death. Come on, bro. See, long see how you guys are mentioning these players, but back then. At the, I remember at the start of that 2021. Nah, man, we're saying, yeah, man, we're saying we were gonna lose that game. Like, I'm not gonna say. Were, man, we're saying we were gonna lose the that. favorites. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah people, because people Neymar also, was out. That's why people had Barca's favorite. Stop Neymar saying was because Neymar, Neymar was out. Was out. And Di Maria was out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those two were out. That's what. Also, also, we were playing. Oh wait, 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 wait. Also, we were playing with Hakim. I'm sorry, Florenzi and Kurzawa. We we're playing with right. Florenzi because we we're playing with Icardi, Moyes, Keen. Bro, we are infinitely better than that 2021 squad. Exactly. And the team that you guys exactly. had, the team that you guys had, especially in midfield and attack, everyone would have taken your front six against our front six any day. You had Griezmann, you had Busquets. They would have picked you guys oh, over so Paredes. So why do you they... act stupid on purpose. No, you no, know that is... Griezmann at Barcelona people, was terrible. People, people, high. You guys were go coming off a great streak. You had like fourteen wins. No, yeah, it was fifteen of, wins. Like you guys were playing really well to start Messi. the year. But, but no. you can't really compare this exactly. And you had Messi. No, no, you, you had Dembele. Dembele. You had Dembele. You had like you had players. You, see this you had guy, good man, players. Yeah, DJ Tucker. <laughs> but no, no, but you, but you have to understand that we had. We had Ronald Koeman in charge, who had only been there for like a couple months, bro. Whereas Javi, like Javi, knows this team inside out. He's been here for like two, over two years now. Like it's a very different team tactically. Like back then, bro, like there were no tactics, there were no nothing, bro. Like there was, there was nothing. And and, and let's be honest, bro. Like that 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 score line was also Fugazi. That wasn't like a four-one game, bro. It, it was not a four-one game. But because we we had no defense, our defense was rubbish, and um, all in all, I think you guys have improved since then as well. Like, I think yes, you lost some individual talent, but um, like in Neymar, I know Neymar didn't play that game, but you guys strike me as a more overall team now, bro. Like Enrique, he's done. Enrique, he's a good manager. I like Enrique. Like I liked him for Spain. I liked him at Barca. Um, but Xavi, bro, I, I'm all I'm saying. I just want to convey a message. And the message is, don't sleep on us, bro, because you're the favorites with the underdogs. Yeah, I'll accept, you know, I'll, I'll play this underdog gimmick, you know. I'll play it, I'll play it. But I'm just saying, like, don't write us off because I was watching PSG INT, like, video, and he was saying, like, we're in the final, bro. Like, I'm just saying, like, don't don't write us off, man. You never no, but, know which team is going to, which, which version of us is going to show up. But that is INT. is very delusional, man. Like, <laughs> No, 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 Phil, I've, I've always done this. It's, it's, it's called confidence. No, no, and no. There is a reason I'm that confident. Illusion. I've watched Barca plenty of times this season. You haven't impressed me. You don't play like a big club. You don't play like a big team. Why should I say, oh, you know what? There's actually a chance for Barca to... To, to do something, there isn't a chance, bro. There no, isn't a chance. You guys are saying, like, no, like no your argument, your you. argument is literally you, we're you think City are ass. You think Madrid are ass. You think every team is ass. Your team is perfect. You guys have. I've never the said best that. Field. I've never said bro, that. That's, I've that's never said that. Say, bro. I've never. No, I've never bro, said that. Phil. You, said, you always try to put words no, into no, my no, mouth, no, no, and you, 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 you always. No, you. I promise you. You said before that nobody in City's defense can get into your back four. Nobody in the midfield oh, can get yeah, into what? No, no, oh, no 100%. That City defense is ass. Are you rating Ake and Akanji? Two they're bummers like kids, bro. There are triple stop. winners. They're triple winners. Okay, bro. okay. Like this is what I'm saying. You rate cogs in a machine. Phil, why they won the trouble is like because of Pep, it's because of Rodri, it's because of De Bruyne, it's because of Bernardo Silva. Somewhat Holland, 
none of those bum ass defenders, Phil. I don't know why you hype them up just because they won a Champions League before. You like Madrid fans to hype up their entire team because they won a Champions League. It was a Benzema carry job. Modric helping out a bit and Vini as well. Everyone else was ass. Like you don't have to hype up the entire team because they won the Champions League. Come on, Phil, no more, like, no longer at all. Look, look at your team, Phil. Okay. What, what there should scare me, Phil? And don't Seriously, say like, ten year old Lamin Dogmal. Don't say his <laughs> name. Don't mention his name, Phil. Please. Oh, no, no, that's just. Like, that's who should I be scared? Who should I be scared of? Lawa and Gundogan link up. Phil, Phil, Phil. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what you're saying. Like, no, 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 Phil, Phil. Because we have a Barca fan here. And I want to agree with... The only thing Leva has added in 2024, Phil, is goals. Everything else he does is still disgusting. No, 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 no. Against His Napoli, so many times you, you wanted to... Move. No, so against Napoli, for example, so many times you wanted to move out from pressure. You gave it to him. He lost it every single time. Well, that. Just stay tight to he's him. He's, it's all, he's not doing everything. anything. So clunky, zero old. confidence. Not, no, nice. You want to push him to Saudi, Phil. There is a reason you want to push him to Saudi. Even like deep into the game, I don't think it'll last like 60th, 70th, 80th, because we're going to maintain the same intensity. It's, man, you're not, you're not going to last, dude. It's much better for Barca to play a, a false nine than playing Lewandowski. Are we being too arrogant? Are we being too arrogant? Maybe, 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 maybe. I don't think we are, honestly. Yeah, I don't. They're that. that they're that like bad. Popular opinion, bro. Like, I know. I know it sounds crazy, but like, um, I was gonna say, like, if we, I genuinely believe we have a better chance at beating y'all if we start with Ferran Torres instead of Lewandowski. Well, Abdul, I've wanted you guys to try Felix as a false nine because he's cooked on the wing. The, the issue is with uh, Xavi, bro, and this is why I want him gone. I want him gone is he doesn't have the cojones. He don't got the balls to drop the big names, bro. Like he, yeah. like Levin does. This is why, like, um, I kind of lost respect for him because he came in, he preached about you have to deserve your minutes, you have to deserve this and that. And Lewandowski, bro, for a full year, he stank it up. Yes, he scores goals here and there, bro, but he's just you're completely true, bro. Like he's 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 been hor horrendous. His overall game, bro, it just you know with the city with Haaland, City they City in the past and you can say even now they have a good enough team around him to make up for the thing for his deficits, for his deficiencies, yeah. bro. We just don't have that with Lewandowski. And he doesn't provide enough to make up for those deficiencies and goals because, like, let's be honest, bro, Lewandowski, what did he do against Napoli? What did he do? He scored that one goal. What, what else did he do? All game. No chances created. No nothing. People, they they try to, they, uh, they make these um, false stories that he takes attention away from our wingers. But he's just not good enough. I mean, it's, it's, it's normal. Like, he's old now. But yeah, like he's gonna play and he's gonna play all game, every game. So this is a big advantage for PSG because it's very easy to deal with him nowadays, especially if your center backs they are just um, they're not bozos. Yeah, yeah. Marquinhos is not playing anymore. I mean Lewandowski had twenty he had twenty nine touches, thirteen out of twenty passes completed. And lost the ball 10 times. Like, he's a liability for your team. And we can't even see how deficient and negative he is for your pressing game. Because he's that guy that doesn't press for you. Would, would you Lazy want Enrique superstar. sacked? Would, would you want Enrique sacked if we embarrassed him? Okay. okay. No. What do you mean by embarrassed If, if like... you said lose, then no. But em embarrassed, like... Are you talking result, performance, both? Both, both, both. I mean, someone has to be sacked. You know what? Let's sack him. Okay, okay, listen, listen. We sack him. How would you feel, would you feel if the first leg was like one-one? How would you be as confident going into the second leg if the first leg was one-one? 
it depends if, if, if it's a one one where we have like seven big chances and we're just extremely unclinical oh that means then, it's, it's only a matter of time like yeah but if if, like like if we underperform our xg again if we underperform xg again we just got shit to cash in on next leg but th- that i don't even think that happens i don't think you guys can survive the no, park, the atmosphere yeah. at the park. I just don't think you can yeah, survive no that. And, and you know, Abdul, one thing you mentioned before Norway. was me, Ace. You said Newcastle really survived. The... We saw. No, I, don't, I don't think Barca can. Su- Many clubs have gone, gone, gone. No, I said we saw Newcastle survive there this season. You know, so like, how did, how did they survive no. it, Phil? We created like five XG, but they they <laughs> almost went away with three points, though. No, because on, our bro. lack of efficiency, it wasn't like they performed well, Phil. They were just parking the bus from the thirtieth minute no, and hoping we didn't score our chances. No, but we're talking about but surviving there. They still survived. That doesn't matter how they performed. No, they no, no, they, they they survived in, in, in for the result, but not in a performance. Absolutely no, they didn't create anything Bacola. after that goal that they scored. Yeah, but Cola had, had like Bacola three big chances, and Mbappe yeah. had a big chance. So, and by the way, how many how many goals have Barca conceded so far in the Champions League? Uh, I think eight, and we have conceded nine. And but, and just scratch four yeah. off of that nine, because you know. That was case, that was just Fugazi. We know case, that shit was Fugazi okay, as hell. So scratch three from our eight because our our last game we played our C team. It wasn't your C team fit. We went through it. You had like five of your regular starters. Bro, we already clinched first place too. We weren't trying, bro. Like, and we lost three two. Like. Oh no no no! Look, let, let's not do even what Tosin said. Remove like. A, Goals and all that. When when you look at XGA, which is XG allowed, we both have seven point eight, but with us facing much tougher teams, which shows that PSG are a much better defensive team than Barca. Well, I have a question. You think any of your teams in your in your group is better than Porto? The way they Milan, performed in the group, Milan yes, they were better no, than Porto no, in the group. No, yeah. No. I think Milan. Yeah, Milan, Dortmund. No, no, no. I don't know. I don't know about Dortmund though. Bro, they, bro, they RC mid. Lons beat they, Arsenal. They Arsenal are not mid. good. RC Lons, like, bro, teams can beat Arsenal away. Arsenal don't travel well. Okay, they but don't travel at home, well. But at 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 home, what was the results with RC Lons? They lost. Like, yeah, it was six. It was six. Okay, it was six. What was the score for Portugal at the Emirates? One nil. One nil. One nil. Yeah. Okay. So don't act like there's some random bum team, bro. Like they almost knocked them out. They went to shootouts to a with a contender, bro. Okay, that's one team, Phil. Okay, but we you had you had team. Antwerp and uh, a, a team from a country that's yeah, fighting yeah. a civil war, Phil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our group was easy, but still, we still had a tough team with Porto. No, oh, I'm just man. saying in terms of chances, you we were even like, allowed shit against them too, man. Like, yeah, po- po- I don't no. know how Porto didn't score against you. Um, we outplayed them at home, but no, nah, no, nah, but the let's away honest, game, bro. we both of cooked us away from home, bro. <laughs> what? Porto cooked us, bro. <laughs> Abdul, what are you saying? This <laughs> nah, nah, no, bro, Abdul, don't, bro, don't be like this. No, 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 but you know what it is, bro. Like, I'm. I'm a realist, bro. Like I don't, I say things how I see them, and I don't, I don't, I don't like to be delusional for the sake of it. Like at the end of the day, I know my team. I know what we're capable of. I, I, I know we, I know like, I like this draw because I know that we can do something and we can get something, but it just depends on whether we turn up or not, bro. I think, and and what but I think if you guys play at your best and we play at our best, you guys still win. But I think if we show up and you guys don't, or if Javi sees something, figures because bro, let's be honest, this this is the stage where the managers really prove their worth, bro. This is where you have to make a name for yourself, bro. Like this ain't Getafe, bro. This ain't Brest. This ain't Nice. This ain't Clement Foot. 
this ain't uh, Al- Almeria. Why are you mentioning it more French? Yeah, you, you ain't gotta balance it out a little bit, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, this, this is the real deal, bro. So, and Enrique, you know, I just hope Enrique, because I know he's a very stubborn coach, bro, and he play he he plays his way, and you guys, I just hope you guys we can catch you guys on the counter, bro. I just hope we can catch you on the break because. We like in transition. We're a pretty good team in trans in transition. The thing is, we have players better suited. Like the thing is, we have better players uh, suited in like in terms of recovery. So Hakimi can recover. Lucas Hernandez can recover. Marquinhos Hakimi, can recover. Hakimi is like, suspended though. He's suspended. Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. But yeah, we still have players that are But have you seen like we have like a lot of players who are one yellow card away from suspension in the second leg? So uh, we have a lot of players that have to watch out. I think Araujo's yeah. one. De Jong is another. Like one yellow card to get out for the second leg. As well. I think. I no, think if, if if yeah, go on. No, I think if Mbappe no, no, yes, has the opportunity, if if Mbappe has the opportunity, Araujo has to foul him or just something because. He wouldn't. It's just it's too risky. Like they have to foul him in it. One of one of your players would have to miss this second leg. I don't see a Rojo or Christensen not getting a yellow in the first leg. Like, yeah, yeah I agree. Like, I agree. But what I will say is about Araujo, bro. Like, if if Xavi tells Araujo stick on Mbappe, you know I haven't seen Araujo get like cooked for a long time. I haven't seen mm-hmm. Araujo get cooked for a long time. So. I'm look. I hope like Araujo defends up against Mbappe, bro. Because I'm here to see. Like, I want to see how it unfolds, bro. Because mm-hmm. like these are the battles that we look forward to. So it's gonna be interesting to see if uh, he can lock him down or not. Scary hours. Scary, scary. I think, I would, mm. the, the, and the thing is, Abdul Mbappe has been used as a left winger and a striker this season. So if he's being used as a left winger, Xavi will do, you know, the usual delusional tactics of wait, putting so, Araujo wait, and, and, back. Do you, do, you, do, you, do, you, do you play? So do you play a front three? In? Like, do you play? Like, what do you think uh, is the front three to go with against Barca? I, I, I think Luch is going to continue how he's doing. So playing Dembele as a false nine or as a ten, Mbappe as a left forward and. Uh, Barcola, Gonzalo, Colo, one of them on that right. Not Gonzalo, hopefully not. <laughs> and, he, and if he wants to switch up, he could just put on Kenny Lee. Just Bro, to... but I'm telling I you, like, even our that. weakest, even our weakest, that. even our weakest forwards will eat in a game like this. Asensio could eat in a game like this. Stop, Gonzalo man. could eat in a game stop, like this. Man. Yeah, Cole yeah. Wani could eat in a game like this. I'm not kidding. I'm Bro, we saw Moise Keen cook, eat against Why the Mo- do you always bring up that game <laughs> from four years ago during COVID when the when like the, the team was washed and old? I just think we have so many attacking pieces that would like they would be like they would be a <sighs> like you would be looking at them like a gift on your team. Like oh man, just stop man. Like, Different times. Like, yes, you guys can beat us, but don't act like they're going to move like that game in 2021. Like, I mean, just stop, man. No, I, I, no, think, because... I think. No, go on, go on. No, you're good. You're good, Ace. No, I was going to say, um, I'll be honest. The first leg, comfortable 3 1. That's my prediction. Comfortable 3 1. I think Mbappe is really going to have a full day. I mean, this is last season. I think he has an objective. The whole team has an objective. I think in the second leg it will be not easy, of course, because it's at the stadium and whilst I'm not going to underestimate Barca at all, but in the first leg, if it goes above two goals, then it can get real. It does not hope for you in the second leg if it gets two goals and above, but if it's kept at a level of like 1-1, one, one, whatever the case is, then it will be a very good game in the second leg. But I don't think... I think Mbappe's gonna have a field day, man. You, there's no way you can stop the best player in the world. I don't. I don't. Can I ask was... you guys a question? Yeah, in the Champions League campaign, how many times have you guys scored three goals? At home, I mean. 
Uh, AC Milan. That was That's a three, it. no? That was three? It was three. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I thought, I thought it was two. That was three. You guys won three, no? Yeah, yes. Mbappe, yes, Colo, bro. We won three. Mbappe, Colo, can't get Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so, yeah. So, that was the only game. And that AC Milan team haven't won any away games. You know, I don't like, see your point, Phil. I, so I, my, I, I my point don't see your like, point, Phil. My point is, you guys expect you guys. I mean, you guys think you guys are some high scoring team, but you guys aren't that, bro. Like, you guys really s- score like three goals at the park in the Champions League. But you now know, you're you know, able like, to uh, score when three you, goals. When you guys like, beat us full, when you guys beat us full one, I never gave Mbappe much credit for the hat trick. Because he played up against a Sergio Dest, who had just came back from injury, and a washed off finished PK, bro. So okay, I okay, never okay. respected that hat trick he scored because I felt like it was easy. But okay. you know, this time, if he actually shows up and cooks us with players who are right, but like I'll say, not all right, Araujo, I think Kunde's been good recently. Like, bro, if he cooks. These defenders we have now, I would genuinely respect it. Like, back then when he scored the hat-trick, I, I somewhat expected it. Like, bro, Sergio does this guy's a bum. He's a bum, and he came from, back from injury. And PK was washed. So, like, I didn't really respect it. But if he cooks us this time, bro, like, you're going to have to put your hands up. But, but you know, as, with Mbappe, I don't really watch the French League. I don't watch you guys play. Um, but what I will say is, like, I watched him in the World Cup, bro. And I watched him in the final, for example. And in the final, like, bro, we all saw how in the World Cup final, big game, massive game, the biggest game. And he was kept quiet, bro, for like a large part of that game. But but Abdul, can, why was he kept quiet? Why was he kept quiet? Would you say he was he kept quiet? Tactically why he was or, or, quiet? Was the French team couldn't progress exactly. the ball. They couldn't get a foot no, 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 but, but, but that's the thing. To keep a player like Mbappe quiet, you have to cut off the service to him, bro. You gotta cut off the service to him because. But is can... that Mbappe's fault? That he's, no, no, no. That he's bereft of service. I, I never blame him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I didn't say it was his fault, but bro, like he can turn, he can switch it on as well, and and you saw Argentina. They made subs. They tired, and he switched it on. So with Mbappe, bro, like um, this, this for me, this is gonna be like a real test for him, because for me, no, personally, it isn't. Bro, it isn't. It really isn't. He I, I, I do think so because I rate Araujo very highly, bro. And if he can cook, yeah, Ara- Araujo is like it ain't the nothing different to what he's seen, like Kevin Damso with RC Lons. You know, it ain't like Mbappe seen y'all ilk before. Like he's seen this these type of defenders, like these big burly defenders. Okay, Ooh. this Araujo hype is crazy. It's no, crazy hype. It's like no, like no, Chris Smalling, twenty twenty four. Let me, let me, yeah, go, 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 yeah, go, let me, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let me break it down for you. This Aroha guy, he's not shit. I'm not gonna downplay him. He's a very good defender. But when I've seen him against Vinny, all he does is foul him, foul him, foul him. You can't tell me he pockets him. Because every time when Vinny wants to cook him, especially the games I've seen, he's cooked him. But majority of the time when you're saying he's pocketed him, I've seen him crap in his shirt, step on, on his feet, all of these fouls. He's just doing dirty tackles. If you see Mbappe now, my brother, I think he will strip him naked. You need to understand. <laughs> you know, you can't no, no, see. Bro, what, no. this, but see, this, no, no, this is what no, you're no. misunderstanding in this, this situation, okay, bro. bro. Because with Vinny, th- that's how you stop Vinny, bro. You have to play like that to stop Vinny because Vinny is very small and intricate. You have to go around. You have to bully him, bro, yeah, to stop okay. Vinny. With Mbappe, no, no. he yeah. Mbappe is not small and he's not small and intricate like that. He can't. He, he doesn't slide off of you, bro. Like with Mbappe. Is like body to body action, but like this is why I'm looking forward to it because no Mbappe, he's gone. He's too quick. He's gone. No, no, it's Tosin. One Tosin. body shift, Tosin. one body faint, one Tosin. shift. Like he's gone. Abdul, no, he, like Rahul gonna be like, yo, where, where, oh, what the, where he go? Like that's no, how no, it's gonna no, be. No, no, like it's no, gonna no, be no, Tosin, millisecond. Tosin, wait, wait, wait. Let me say go. a point. Tosin, you know this season, Mbappe hasn't been that great. He's not the same. Bappe that he has been in the past. You know that. Don't switch it up now because... And Araujo been playing at a prime level or something? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I mean, 
I'm not saying that, but just agree with my point that Mbappe hasn't been great. But the thing this is, season. Mbappe's baseline, I can't believe you see that me neat riding Mbappe, man. Oh, That's there so you go. Nasty. So, just be honest, Tristan. I want you to be honest, bro. No, no, but he can cook around you, bro. He could, but he, Ryan like, has to cook this season in a big game. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, I'm being. I watched so many Bart, I mean, PSG games this season. Yes, he would score goals, but his overall game has been terrible. Brother, brother, let me tell you something. This is... Okay, cool. See, see me, I rate Neymar. I, I really like Neymar as a player. But as soon as these guys have left, I was thinking, how is Mbappe going to perform without these two guys? I'm, I'm, I'm in denial because I'm thinking, how is he going to perform this season? Forget about goals and assists because I don't really look at stats. But his goals and assists is crazy. I think right now this season might be his best season as a PSG player or whatever the case is. But if yeah, we're really going to be honest... Oh, yeah, on. Yeah, There's yeah. no way you blew that ace. This season? No, I'm, no. obviously, 21-20-22, he's obviously providing as well. But on top of no, it, this I, season, I, don't, I don't think his overall system. game... He's, I think he's had too many bad performances this Thank season. Thank you, DJ. Bro, like... he's, he's been good. But I think people see the, you know, they see the clips and all that of... The, the the big moments, but his general play hasn't been hasn't been that good. Thank you, and even Tosin was telling me that he lost, um, he lost um some pace. You know, like it's not the same clip as before. <laughs> but well, now well. this guy Tosin's like always oh, going to blitz him. Like bro, like stop switching up, Tosin. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it, though, man. I mean, that's your opinion, and but we're all, we're all gonna see you on April the tenth. Yeah, of when course. he cooks, you're gonna understand how you understand. Again, and by the way, once we take you out, I think I don't know who we're gonna. I don't know about Atletico. We'll just talk about that and when it comes to May, whatever the case is. But Barcelona, especially because he's at Parc de Prince, especially the first leg at home. First leg, they're gonna get absolutely. They're gonna sure. get. Now you, you lot are gonna get cooked, L- lubed up, by cooked. everything. Like, like you lot, you lot and I keep talking about Mbappe and Mbappe. It's not even about Mbappe and Mbappe. As a team, the way Vitinha is playing, we can play ball now. We have an identity. Now like we're not, we're not, we're not over reliant on Mbappe to the point where it's like, oh, if Mbappe can't do the job, we have other players that can do the job. We've got Kangi Lee, top player. He can play in the eight. Can play as a ten. He can play as a right wing. If Dembele's having a stinker, you can put him on. You got Concarlo Ramos. You can put him on. Um, I don't know about him, but we're not <laughs> going to talk about him. But we got a top defence as well. Obviously, we leak goals. I'm not saying we don't leak goals at all. Majority of these teams in Europe leak goals as well, but it's just the point of... <sighs> we got top keepers all this season. Donnarumma has been doing good. We're not going to sit and lie about that. It's going to be a good game, but I think we're the most scariest transition team in Europe. Yeah, no, there's 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 a, there's an a yeah. sector of yeah. the team that they're better than us in like defense. I By would the take way, ours. Like, I want to ask you guys like, how come I'm looking at your recent form? Why am I seeing three draws in a row? What's going on, bro? Oh. They hide this stuff from us, DJ. They hide this stuff, bro. Like, they... is, it, <laughs> is, is that, that all I... you're doing? Is that is this is that, is that that's just results based analysis, surface okay, level analysis? Is that go. what we doing? No, but come on, now. The, the performances I'm doing there either though. What do you mean performance? We're, 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 we're 10 points clear. We don't give a fuck. Do you know how much me. we've been rotating? Do you know how much we've we're, been rotating? We're, we're, no, no, we're no, no, ten- Phil, 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 Phil. <laughs> if we won those games 7-0, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't say, oh, PSG is good. You wouldn't say that. So why the fuck do you care if it's draws? Mbappe, Mbappe didn't start three of the last four no, league no, no, on no, games. No, 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 no. And what's it called? And, and even, no, 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 not just Mbappe. Dembele. Dembele. Dembele only started Even when Mbappe played, he was asked. Thank you, Mo. That's what I wanted to hear. I know, but even Dembele, Dembele started two of the last seven league games. Like, you can clearly see that they're rotating a lot. Like, they're rotating. Okay, but I thought you guys have a bench. You guys can beat those French teams with your bench? No, be, we're, 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 not we're not trying. Like, they better <laughs> we're not trying, Phil. We're not trying. And we're not playing yeah, our best. Trying. We're not playing our best. Wait, I mean, you know, Phil, you know, we, 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 we. Yeah, go, go. No, sorry, go. No, no, I was gonna say sometimes like there's games where we control. There's sometimes we can lose. Not every single game we're gonna win. It's football, isn't it? It's not that we lost. If I mean, if you've lost, then it's like yeah, you can talk about it. But drawing, neither is a W, neither is an L. It's happened to Barca as well. We're not gonna look at your games and look at form. But, but that's what 
they have been doing. They've been looking at our games, conceding goals, you know, so like... Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. But, but yeah, I mean, if you want to talk about every yeah. draw, but, but Phil, like... do, you, do you not agree on the fact that we are a team that, like, we are very bipolar? Like, one, like, we can show up and have an amazing performance, or we can, like, absolutely have a stink fest. Like, do you not agree? Like, we don't know what which version of us is going to show up. Yeah, that is an, an, an issue, but I think the biggest issue is that we can't finish chances, bro. Like, that is one of my biggest worries. Like, we've missed so many chances. It takes us so many so chances who's more to clinical? score. who's more clinical, you or us? I, I haven't watched out that much, but I would probably say you. You guys. just said I've watched so many PSG games. Okay, so also not play every play game, play but, play like, play you know, play once. Play like, what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, fine. I'll say you guys are more clinical. Nah, you're a troll, man. And, and okay. see, <laughs> when you actually look at it, we started off like Newcastle, Dortmund, high XG games, not scoring that many goals. But Sociedad, I think we had three XG across both games and we scored four goals. Bro, we cash in. Pressure, we cash who, in. who has more pressure on them? I think PSG has more pressure. Oh, P- I mean, yeah, PSG. Look, I've done. You guys reaching the corners, that's a trophy for Barca. This is the first time in four don't years you've been here. I don't think our players are feeling pressure. I don't think our players are feeling pressure. After you won, went, to, went, to the, went to the fans, uh, jumping Listen, everything like you won the trophy. I, 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 think, I, think, I, I think they're I, confident. I think our players are super confident. I think Lucas Hernandez, uh, Mbappe, like... Man, they're gonna be on another level. Like bro, just... Mbappe is licking his lips, thinking, he, like, bro, he, I, I, I am licking my chops. That's, <laughs> that, that's what he's saying. I am licking my chops. Yeah, that's what you know, saying. Like, what's gonna happen to your chest you know. when he goes to Madrid, bro? Like, he seems to have a lot, a lot yeah, of chest. You know, you lot are laughing, but it's like even Dembele has a. He's on a man on a mission as well. Oh my god! Be serious, be serious. Like, bro, bro, honestly, I, this is why I want, I need, I need um, Barcola and Dembele to just pick up form. Because if they pick up form, it's gonna be dirty. What our front three will do? How It'll you, be. Di- how, how oh my score? god, bro! A front that? three when one player scored ninety five percent of your goals. He's a it's, goal scorer, Phil. Oh, Messi scored like ninety five percent of the goals. No, Neymar and Suarez all contributed. Stop. Respect. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. If we look at PSG last season, Neymar, Messi, and Mbappe all contributed. We're talking purely about a team built around one superstar. We only have one superstar in the team, and that's Mbappe. When, when Barca only had Messi, Messi contributed like eighty percent of the goals. That's a normal thing, Phil. I don't know how you're using it as a bad thing. Second of all, Dembele is the best playmaker in the world. Prove me wrong, Phil. Prove me wrong. Oh, he cooked, he cooked, he cooked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Phil, we call it Phil, 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 Phil. I just need a promise from you. Because you it's already good. know if, if, if the worst happens and we lose, I will be here. I, I don't care. You, you are, are, will you... Wait, what? Obviously, because I'm a... You are a real one. You know? Unlike Tosin. Right. I know Tosin would be <laughs> gone off this app, bro. But c- continue. Bro, nobody yeah. hiding, bro. Nobody you hiding. Pro- you <laughs> promise. You promise, Phil. You will come here after the first leg and after the second leg. Yes. And also, I have another promise. I'm probably going to do zero dark 30 before the um, game. So... I want to another do pod. what? Like that's how that's how you know that's how cooked you are. That's how cooked you are. LeBron did zero dark thirty. Did make the playoffs. Like what is the what is that even? The 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 devil's nice or what? Going, nah, it just means he's going a wall. Like he's taking a break. No, like, Remember, but I was, you're not, you're not a Barca player. You're not a player. Right? Yeah, exactly. You're not a player. Like, you don't need to lock, lock in or anything. After 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 the second leg, I will show up. I would either your first leg. We need your first leg, baby. Oh. That's a big one as well. Bro, I don't see like Bar- Mbappe okay, Barcola Dembele is going to cook that. Like it's gonna absolutely cook that back line, bro. <sighs> yeah, no, no, no. We already know. Can this is talking win about win? goals. He's talking That's about over. goals. Like, how do goals arrive? Like, do they just happen by magic? Like, a pass can be decisive in a goal without being the last pass. It just takes one pass under pressure. 
one somebody being brave under pressure, one decisive dribble to create space. Like so you can cool. win the ball high up. Our press is insane. Like we could just win the ball high up. You know how many press triggers you have in your back line? As soon as a as match soon as lasts we... around ninety Whoa. minutes. It's ninety minutes with extra time. A goal lasts thirty seconds. Celebration included. At the rest of the time, other shit going on. And bro, and w- with all that other shit going on, you're not gonna be able to compete. Plus the goals, like it's gonna be. I think Man. I think Jen, I genuinely mm, think Aro, Aro right now is just thinking about how the f- am I going to stop him, Bappe? No, he's having easy. sleepless nights, bro. He's no, doing easy. right now. Respect him, bro. Like I, 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 I don't see it as you got. I don't see it being like an Araujo and Bappe thing. And Bappe sometimes going to be on Araujo, sometimes Kubarsi, sometimes Kunde. And Bappe moves around a lot. So this Mbappe versus Araujo all the time, it's not going to happen. Thank you. For example, Vinny, it's much easier to like one v one him. Exactly. He, he he's just a left winger, t- holds the touchline. Mbappe moves around all the time. For me, Phil, mm. I think Araujo will do a great job of Mbappe. Mm. Why? Because Mbappe's biggest weakness are these athletic players. Does mm. that mean Mbappe will not go past Araujo? No, he'll probably yeah. do that once or twice. Mm. But Araujo will give him a time. For me, it's that Kubarsi dude. Wait, why don't you trust him? He, it's Kubarsi not about. I, I don't like trust him. Rating, this, this just too, I rate him. This is just too big of a game for him. You think so? Because cause that is what I thought too. Because like, when I thought, thought that he was going to start against Napoli, I was scared. But when you watch him play, bro, like... But PSG are another level to Napoli. Like, bro, bro, what, this Kobashi guy. Uh, you know, he's a, you know, no, he's a good prospect. He's come out from La Masia. Mm-hmm. He can play ball with his feet. I understand. Mm-hmm. When you're bucking into demons like them, but bro, you know he's gonna look at Mbappe and think, "Fuck, I'm really in the game." Like, cause you know this is not a normal game for a 17 year old. This is a big pressure game. Napoli, you can do your. You've done an amazing job on Oshiman. Amazing job. I'm not gonna downplay that. But brother, this is Mbappe. This is Mbappe. How you? <sighs> you know, I don't. I'm scared for him because you know if he if he cooks him, wait, if he strips him naked. <laughs> What's he gonna do? He's just thinking, yeah. What? The confidence. That's a crazy analogy, bro. I know. Wait, wait. Is is? Can I ask you a question? Go on. Are you an Mbappe like fanboy? No, <laughs> no, no. Come You're not. Cause no, no. The way you talk about him, like he's like peak master. Like I love Mbappe, but like, bro, no, no. no bro. Like okay, he's so not. You know, you know, gonna do that, bro. Okay, do you know what I'm talking about him like this because me and you. In your heart, you definitely know he's the biggest game player in this world as we speak. We, we're not going to deny that. And he's in the moment time, you can't tell me, oh, what type of player Barca have when they can just turn it on when they want, however they want. Mm. This guy is so scary. You wouldn't... <sighs> I don't know how to explain it to you, man. It's just when you see him against that first leg and you understand how... <sighs> you understand it, man. I'm not, I can't explain it to you, but you... <laughs> Phil, the scariest thing for me with, with Mbappe, Phil, mm-hmm. as you said before, like maybe his all round game has not been mm-hmm. as good as it previously was and so on, but it's more that goal scoring instinct. Like he's, like, he's when we talk about, goal. yeah, when we talk about what Ronaldo used to do in CL, that was when he was like 28, 29, 30, three peats era. Mbappe's 25 and he's scoring goals for fun. When he, you just give him a little bit of an opening. In this Sociedad mm. game, it's over. Agree, but like... Hey, you, and you time, think like Barca would stay focused like the entire 90 minutes and not... No, no. He, he'll probably score a goal or have some chances in the game. But like, I don't think... Because the way you guys are talking, like it's going to be another 2021. Like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be very surprising for me. Like, if no, Mbappé no, was to be. replicate it will that... Be. It will be. You see, Tosa, see... Yeah. You're just a troll, bro. No, I, he, you see, uh, no, Mbappe might not score a hat trick, but he'll score a yeah. brace at least. I can't like, lie, I genuinely think that. Probably yeah. won't, man. <sighs> probably if he gets two pens, because you know, you know how Mbappe has, has been scoring these days, bro. Like, <laughs> scores a lot of pens. Uh, you, you don't respect him. Man said pens. No, no, I do respect Mo, you know that too. He, he's been scoring lots of pens. He still got to put away the pen. Who, Mbappe? <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Actually, recently he hasn't he hasn't scored pens, and, and Phil, you know, I was on his head in the didn't, didn't score a single page. pen. Didn't score a single pen in the uh, round of sixteen. One of the goals so, are open. I mean, it's yeah. two games, bro. Like, 
What do you mean it's two games? This is the knockout rounds. Yeah, but it's two Keep pulling games, up. But... You're, you're next. You're next. You're, on the, you're next on the hit uh, list. Oh, shit. But I missed SSB's question. I think it was. But yeah. Um, I would say our midfield does better at creating chances. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you, Mo. Finally. Finally, about time. You know, you're not biased 20, 20%. <laughs> I'm never biased, Phil. Phil. Like, I, I can't lie. I can't lie. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> PS, okay. Counter attacks, PSG. Defending, PSG. Possession, PSG. Mm, creating chances, PSG. But yeah, creating chances from the field, yeah. Because our midfield doesn't. They, they work more for the attackers and even yeah. the fullbacks. Those are the like the, the, the people that create the chances for us. Yeah. For me, Phil, one like weakness for you is Cancelo. I watched Barca a lot this season and he's been legit your best playmaker, maybe with Gundogan in pretty much every game. But this I don't see him it. I don't see him pushing up, Phil. Like, I do it, because didn't you say that the Bella nowadays plays like as a camp? So you won't go up against okay. Cancelo, no? No, no, no. I don't, that I don't, I don't, I don't that is true. If Lucha does that, yeah. Yeah, unless Lucha does, but I don't think Lucha will do that. I think he's going to stick him in the right wing and tell him, listen, be your man, play, make, create, do what you need to do. Because he knows the liability of Cancelo. So I think he wouldn't need to do the whole Force 9 thing or um, that stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, space to turn and face yeah, the defense. Yeah, it's just like. like Cancelo, Cancelo would have to understand I can't even attack in this game because if I attack. I'm just gonna give 50 meters of space for Dembele, and we all know what's how dangerous that's gonna be. But yeah, I, I think he needs to stay back. He, he can't really attack because it's just I don't know. It's just too much, too much problems, man. But we'll see how Xavi does his thing in it. But I generally think my prediction is that PC wins the UCL because Mbappe's on a mission, man. He's gonna do it, and when he does it, he brings the first UCL to Paris. And then he goes to the Euros, he wins it. Easy, easy, easy. It's not all about what? It's not all about Mbappe. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then he changes his mind. And then he gets he, 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 he extends. Oh, listen to my take. No, no, let me finish my take, bro. Listen to the... Wait, let me finish my take, bro. Wait, cool. Cool. He wins the UCL. Calm. Brings it to Paris. Then he goes to the Euros. He wins it. Then he goes to Madrid. Wait, wait, wait. Then he goes to Madrid. Thank you, DJ. No, no, no. Stop there. Stop there. We don't want to hear Madrid. We've gone on the war at Madrid. We don't want to hear that, man. Thank you, DJ, bro. Like, I knew he was an Mbappe fan. I I knew it. I knew it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm really not. I just... I just... I'm just talking about facts, man. He's just on a man on a mission, man. Would fuck the tall and I'm just being honest, though. He's on a man on a mission, man. As a whole team as well. Luis Enrique is embodied the playing style. Like you can look at PSG and see they're really able to play ball. They're able to have a possession. In the other years, it was just they had a lot of superstars. So it was like a lot of people had to run for certain people. There's only one superstar right now, obviously, which is no, Bro, if, if you look at the the two cool teams, like we were a very good counter attacking team defensively. Mm. We we were you know compact. Everyone was working for each other. Like it's when thirty came that everything fell apart. You know, but mm-hmm. I think pre pre. Uh, P30, like we were, I, I wouldn't say it was just all. So you're just saying we're we picking up where we left off. Exactly. Basically. And it's even okay. better now because compare um, Bernak uh, Kera to Hakimi Nuno, no, it's not a conversation. Yeah. Yeah, but also comparing Ferrati to that's true. Bettinia that's true. Yeah. or Warren is not a conversation yeah. as well. That's true. Yeah, Phil, that's Phil, I, Phil, I love got... Verratti. Oh, don't do it more. more. No, 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 no. But if we look at the final run and the semi-final run, because that's exactly what DJ is talking about, us picking up from where we went before Pessy came and destroyed it. Against Dortmund, he didn't play both legs, right? No, he didn't. No, he played go. the first. He played the first leg. Yeah. First, missed second. Missed Atalanta. Yeah. Missed Leipzig. Missed Bayern. Majority of, I mean, came in cameo at the end, didn't matter. And then for the semi final, played Barca first and second, and then didn't play versus Bayern uh, first and second. So, we, obviously, we, we're gonna miss uh, Verratti's qualities and so on, but he had what Idrissa Guy and Ander Herrera next to him. 
I think our midfield three together now is better than our midfield three together before. I'm not almost. I don't do. I don't know if I agree with that. I think you don't need Tosin. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> no, no. I, I think he's saying that because when you look at PSG midfield, it was just Verratti and nobody else with him. And that no, but like 2021, still. our midfield was pretty much starting midfield was Paredes, Verratti, Gay. Mm. That's our midfield. Is that better than Vitinha, Warren, Fabian? <sighs> to be well, fair, I mean, it's, it, I think it, it's it comparable. Is, it is. Uh, no, it's definitely comparable, Tosin. I just like this midfield more, Tosin, because I never enjoyed Guy. They have more legs, more legs. That maybe. much. More legs. And then Paredes, I mean, he's just... I've never understood why people still prefer Paredes to Fabian. I think because he was just good at breaking blinds, etc. Maybe because that's... Yeah, but he, he was too one-dimensional, in my opinion, Paredes. Like, yeah. he was elite on one thing and then just straight mid at everything else. Fabian, mm-hmm. he's like decent slash good uh, majority of stuff. Like, even his defensive numbers have gone up so much this season. Yeah. For me, the weakness for Barca as well is that in the midfield, Baron, athletic athleticism-wise, our midfield owns that Barca midfield. Christensen, Bro, like, Lanky, I don't see... Dude, that, that's Gundogan, the thing that baffles me Turkish the most. Turkish kebab seller, and then Fermin, lesbian Lopez. <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah, like that. Add like Dion, no one is scared. Dion, add, Dion, add, add lesbian Dion instead, Philip. Hey, like, bro, 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 that's the future PSG, bro. Your, your midfield. No, then then he, we make him a man. Mo, <laughs> your <laughs> midfield. Phil, Phil, is the ball played in the air or on the? Uh, none of our team play <laughs> long balls or anything. So why does that matter? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's facts though. Like I don't see how their midfield is much better than ours. Like can we, can, we definitely have the personnel to outplay yours, bro. Like pretty easily, to be honest. You want to bring your Bettina agenda back in two weeks, Dawson? I can't wait. No, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be gonna cook, man. I think Warren will cook Bettina, Fabian. I think they'll all cook. But Warren is playing fullback. That that's what I'm hearing from you guys. Like, no, no, pick no, one. No, no, no. Is he playing know, Marky, or not? Marky. Even Kang will cook, honestly. Oh, now Kang. <laughs> uh, why think... don't you rate Kang? I don't rate him and the other guy from Sosa that um, I forgot his name. Tubo. Like, oh, from... I don't rate players <laughs> Tubo, yeah. that are not athletic and they're Asian. They're... Okay. No, yeah, no, 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 Asian, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. Not that, that they're not athletic and they're predictable. Like just cut in. You know what I mean? Like start to explain. Like, I don't rate them. They don't like. But Kang is clear of Kubo. I I see them both mid, person. <laughs> oh damn! That's, That's why I think you guys should start Warren at midfield and put Mukele or Marquinhos at right back. No, no, I, I think I think Warren will play midfield. I don't think Lucho will do something stupid to play him right back against. No, the thing no, is, he no. might though. He could do that and play Kang and Lee in midfield. Oh, but that's so risky because it's like who's in front of him? Lamine Yamal, isn't it? Mm, that's not. That's the other wing. No, 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 You know, Nudo gonna sit on that shit. He gonna clap that. Oh, man. Yamal. Yamal. We we getting that disaster class. No, stop. Yeah. Phil, 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 Yamal. Nudo is hardened from Coleman. Bro, I seen him. The best. Wingers in the world. Yeah, he goes up against Dembele every training session. I bro, promise you. I like, saw him get spawned by like... Kubo, bro. Like, yeah, stop. No, 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 you have, no, you have to understand. No, he didn't. didn't. No, he didn't. When, when, I, when, Phil? When? I swear the the first leg. <laughs> first leg. He didn't play the first leg. leg. Like, why? Okay. Is oh, you talking about Vidal? Maybe you talking about Vidal? Yeah, yeah, that. Oh my god! You're a troll. How can you say you started? <laughs> there you go, oh, man. This is just a rabble rouser, man. Top, like, top, just top an agent. Top. I don't even think, though, if you... I don't think... When Nuno... I think Nuno's not going to give him any respect, man. He's got to clamp him every time, man. Like, no no freedom, man. You can't let him do yeah, yeah. Yeah, this. Yeah. And, you know, another thing with Nuno is... He can always take a risk and lunge in. 
Because even if he fails, he, he has the pace to recover. Because the run yeah. is not that quick, yeah. He's just not, yeah. I thought Lee was good. No, Kangin Lee is a very good player. I mean, if you don't watch with your eyes, then uh, that comment was silly, man. He's a top player, man. Yeah, Lee, Lee just That's needs, the thing, but what, what I'm thinking is like, what is... Maybe he might do it in the away leg. Yeah, he might do that more so in the away leg. But I think like if we come in, when we slap them at the park, I think in the away leg, Lucha might play four midfielders or something. Mm. Like he might play Patino, Warren, Fabian, and Kang in midfield. And just maybe just experiment up top and Bappe and Dembele or something. But, Cause Lucho really rates Kang, man. He always finds a way to put mm-hmm. him to put him in the eleven. He just always finds a way to put him in the eleven. What will this ace guy do next season if Mbappe leaves? Brother, it's, it's, it's not Mbappe FC. My favorite player left the club. He's not here anymore. Who, who's your favorite player? Oh, Name us. Yeah, brother, like that's my favorite player. Oh, okay. So I, when he's left, that is, I still support my team, like. He did his job. He done his service. But what am I gonna go support Al Hilal or something? No. <laughs> uh, All right. What would you say yeah. your favorite Neymar goal or Neymar game? Uh, uh, brother, yeah, I could talk to him. I could talk about him for days, man. <laughs> my favorite goal, brother. Or my yeah. favorite goal. I'd say. I'll give you mine brother, if you want. Man, I'll... Okay, yeah, go on, go on, go on. I say mine. I think it's between two. Um, one of them is. Do you remember the one against Toulouse on his debut? Oh my fucking god! I think he beat like three men and then shot it across the keeper, bottom left. Which well, is like the fake, that. the fake roulette, the fake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, how do you, you even know, do that shit? Like, the, I, I, look, I came, I came from, I came from school now. Come at that time, I've gone yeah. down to watch the first home debut from him. I've seen a man do a rainbow flick in his debut. I was, in, I was just thinking, bro, what's this guy doing? He's treating it like he's a playground, and he scored the goals. The trickery, the pressure of like it's just on your debut. Oh, it's just and then my, uh, my favorite game though, I would say it was against Red Star, Belgrade. When he was just was it, where he sat the goalkeeper yeah. and the yeah, chip, the chip two, finish. Even, even even the two free kicks. Nasty, yeah. Oh, 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 you're talking oh you're talking about the first game, the first Yeah, goal. yeah, the okay. first game where he was just um, con- like he, it was just Verratti giving it to him, dictating tempo, collecting a ball, just progressing all the time, like Oh man. man! Yeah, that was a classic Verratti game too. He had ten tackles that game. I remember <sighs> ten tackles. Top game. I wish, I wish my my honest wish is just, I wish Neymar had had that that artillery in the midfield for him not to collect the ball so deep. Had he well, just let I, him just stay? That, I, I think I think it's him choosing to do it. So I don't know. Maybe I I don't know. Me, Obviously, we'll never know. But I feel like yeah, yeah. the team could have functioned. With Neymar still playing more advanced, I think it was him choosing to do it though. Yeah, may- maybe he just liked. Oh, let me just yeah. let me just show the world that like, I can. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I, I don't blame him in it because he could do it, but course, I think that's when the injury started to yeah come in because it's like you yeah. doing that is just putting too much pressure on you. Yeah, exactly. But every, it's the same, the same uncle, bro. Every year, every <sighs> fucking the same uncle, man. And you know so, that first bro? season, that uh, that first season at PSG is. Yeah, uh, for me, it's probably the best individual season as a PSG player I've seen. To be fair, mm-hmm. like, honestly, I think it's the best individual level in the sport. Yeah, man, uh, bro, like, like in how's the sport. man getting nineteen goals, thirteen yeah. assists, bro, in twenty games? That's not that's not normal, bro. <laughs> it's, it's not, not even about the like stats that. for me. It's just what he like. You the couldn't get near him. You couldn't yeah. get near him. Like. Oh, oh. He did a skill, uh, bro. He did a skill to Moutinho against uh, Monaco one game debut season. Bro, yeah, I, yeah. I shot my pants, man. I, I've never <laughs> seen that ro- a rollback. Yeah, that little ball roll, like it's the nastiest shit I've ever seen. Like you gotta <laughs> find it. You gotta find it. It's like the nat, bro. He he bought like everything he learned from Messi at Barca to come to PSG and then. Let him do his own thing. You could see everything. Like you could see his playmaking, his finishing, his passing, his dribbling. Like I could really see it because it's like, yo, um, I have a question for you guys. So I saw Oof. reports about Vinicius. You know, um, the reports are saying that like he might be thinking about leaving because Madrid are not backing are not backing him. 
doing like those racist chants and stuff. <laughs> Would you guys want to sign him as like an Mbappe replacement? No. Vinicius? I'd be down for that. Because I think he'd be the I best. I hate him so much as a person, man. Yeah, I can't take it. I think he Yeah, I guess, same here. I hate his personality, but yeah, that's true, yeah. But ability wise, I mean, how how much would it cost though? At one one twenty one one thirty probably. Not more than that. You think it costs more? I don't think. Yeah, more. like if Leao was one seventy five, they'd argue. No, Leao not one. Look, Leao's an eight eight five million on his on his best. I team. agree. Oh. I agree. I agree. But that's not what the release clause say. You know, so if Madrid had their way, they're they're saying, yeah, they're saying two hundred. Easy. Yeah, no, no, thanks. Now nah, give me Xavi, bro. That's, that's all I need. Tosin, do you want Xavi? Ch- ch- <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, nah, you do. <laughs> hey guys, are we playing tomorrow or Sunday? Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. Okay, okay. Are you, are you doing a preview on Saturday then? Um. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, Who are we playing? Who are we playing? Montpellier. Yeah, away. Away? No, not at the crib? No, no. No, it should be away. I already played the Melbourne. Oh, shit. That's going to be a tough game, man. And then a cheeky international break. And then we got Marseille, Tosin. Bro, we have game. Marseille and then the cup, the, the cup semifinal. Who are we playing the cup semifinal? Ren. Ren. And then Clermont. And then Barca, baby. Oh. Bros are going to get cooked differently. We will be there no matter what, man. No matter what. At least three goals. At least three goals. Yeah. In the first minimum. leg, for sure. Yeah. Minimum. Oh, yeah, yeah. If if that doesn't happen, then I'll be very disappointed, man. Yeah. Yeah. PSG picks up form, and then yeah. No, we we have great form. Like if you actually look at the games where we care, we're unbeaten since November. Yeah, and and then if you look at the Coupe de France, the Champions League games, like three one versus Brest, three one versus Nice, two 0 Sociedad, two one Sociedad. Just league game, we we really don't give a fuck anymore about it. Yeah, I think from when Lucho was even benching Mbappe, it just geez, yeah, I think it's more of a focus of the in Europe to be fair. Resting for the big games and stuff that don't overuse him because he does. He's Yo, been playing every single game. Yo, once then. I am chilling, bro. I think we're gonna go through, and I like my path <laughs> to the final. You know. <laughs> But listen, who do you think is going to win? Barca or PSG? Wait, he's a Liverpool fan, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is. Come on, Winston, be honest. Be honest. Nah, he's not going to do a 180. He's not going to live up to his name and switch up. He knows it's PSG. If he says Barca, it's going to be... A... Oh, I got PSG. Sorry, bro. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Yeah, you know, bull brother, man. Wow, bro. I was supporting you during the City and Liverpool game. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that for him, though? Nah, I actually like Liverpool. Great club, bro. Great, great club. Did you like, did you like taking four? Oh, bro. Obviously not, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I hope they win the league, you know. What a day that was, man. May 7th. Oh, yeah. I just, I've just seen that report you were talking about, Phil. But it's, it's from the Athletic, Phil. How would the Athletic, an English uh, newspaper, know anything about Madrid player? 
nothing in that report indicates that oh I would, Vinny wants to is considering leaving nothing no, no, Susan, when all of this racist stuff began back against Valencia like one year ago the same thing was mentioned I even made a video Vinicius to PSG just for the vibes so this is something they're they're picking up always when Vin, when Vinny because Vinny recently made a tweet about oh UEFA are you not gonna like just this disgusting victim card oh UEFA are you not gonna like, who who the fuck are you Vinicius um and then did you see what Madrid posted on their Instagram for the Vinny thing yeah bad it was pretty bad bro. <laughs> <laughs> like that club bro, like bro. why. Like, <laughs> I, what was the reason to do that, man? Exactly, bro. Wait, Tosin, have you so, seen it? That is what I think he's going to leave, bro. Yeah, short to Yeah, yeah, Tosin, yeah. I man. saw it. It's like it's like an evolution chart from monkey to man. <laughs> yeah, but like, what, why would they do that? <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I was right. I was showing you here. You see there? It's just Vini Vici. It's like <laughs> that's our primate, you know. <laughs> it's crazy, man. But uh, that's Vini for Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> the last evolution is Vini for Brazil. <laughs> Yo, um, Kingsley. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, Kingsley. We're talking about this Vinicius subject. Like, yeah. the, I don't believe it because it's from, as I said, from English newspapers, but could you believe Vinny wanting to leave just because of that? No, I don't think so. I think the you think timing was a bit suspicious, if I'm being honest. Like right after the draw as well? I don't think so. And by the way... And do you think maybe it also has yeah. to do with like Mbappe joining? No. I don't see how <laughs> that influences Mini Junior, if I'm being honest. No, no, no. I'm just saying the, the newspapers that are lying. They're like, oh, Mbappe is going to come. Vini faces racial treatment. He probably wants to leave. Like they make that disgusting logical uh, correlation in their head. Probably. I mean, what makes sense, but now I don't think Bing is going to leave. Like, um, I mean, I think everybody can see that Vinny does really love the club. Like, every chance he gets, he's showing out the badge. Uh, he's showing love to the fans, so I just don't see it. Oh, yeah, same, same. I, I just saw a report, something about United looking to make a 200 million bid or something crazy for Vinicius. That's crazy. United yeah, not built cool. like that. United not built like that. Well, they saw their fucking team, man. Yeah, Vinny. Yeah. Vinny wouldn't go there. Come on, he's not stupid. That's career suicide. <laughs> but is I mean, Rodrigo, is Rodrigo, is Rodrigo gonna leave, though? Because he looks more of a bet to leave. Oh, I take him in a heartbeat, man. He's so good. Nah, he's like, he'll probably go to like the Prem. Mm. More like Liverpool or something. Like a hundred plus million for I don't think he's worth a hundred plus. But the thing is, a lot of attackers aren't worth hell. Like Caicedo Enzo. It's just the market is so cooked, man. Yeah. Hundred million used to mean something. It's actually crazy, man. I'd say, like, the last player to move for, like, 100 that was worth it was, like, Griezmann, maybe, back in 2020. What was it, 2019? But he didn't live up to it. That was a waste of money, too. No, no, I mean, like, at the time of the signing, he was worth yeah, that. Yeah. I mean. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. How, how much did Sancho go for? Well, like, 80, right? And Sancho wasn't bad. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it was Anthony. Anthony went for a hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anthony, Anthony. Oh, good. Um, we've discussed like our draw, but what are we saying about the other draws? Um, honestly, I don't care, dude. Like, 
I think that the Bayern Arsenal is going to be fun. I think. Okay, cool. With Madrid and City, I think Madrid will edge it. I think Madrid. so too. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think they're going to rig it. Yeah, I think they're <laughs> going to do something. I mean, they're going to tell back, and not that they need good. Cool. And to be honest, though, this city is more. Last season, bench and Rudiger. This city seems more susceptible to counters, like the last yeah, season. Yeah, that's so. the and yeah. And I think Vinny will team as well. I think that it becomes a different team than it was. I mean, you guys are definitely more confident than I am. I mean, City is still City. Very tough to beat, especially at home. Yeah, you'll have to... You'll need... A two nil dove at the Bernabeu, or like a two goal margin. I think it's doable. Yeah, it's definitely doable. I think they are slightly worse than last season, but I wouldn't necessarily you, say that we are that much better as well. So I don't know. Like you need a Jude masterclass, just in terms of a GA, because you can't have another kind of masterclass. <laughs> Jude, we need Vinny, we need Rodrigo to get back in form, like. No, I think I think the the first leg. This is going to be an unpopular opinion, but I think the first leg, you don't play Modric and Cruz to start, but the second leg you do with the lead because not not both of them at the same time. Obviously, one. No, of but them. Just, they call key position. No, they will because if you play that fourth midfielder, like I know they've been playing Madrid, have been playing like more of a flat four four two, but if they go back to that diamond shit. They'll have more than enough numbers. That's just the, if you can be you can beat a one to one press, just man to man press. If you just win your individual battle, that's all it. That's all it takes. And with Judah's that fourth man, like if they can just do that, like it's they'll see out the game at the Etihad. Yeah, and another thing about the city team, it's old. This is something people don't talk about. It's old, and they were big, like De Bruyne. Rodri, Bernardo Silva, Ruben Diaz, Akanji Ake. Like, last season, he had them because, you know, they were so physical and all of that. But now they're actually physically cooked. They can't run that much. If Madrid actually, you know, make the pitch big, use players like Camavinga, Valverde, who can run the entire game, they can beat them. Yeah. Well, I think don't play Cruz though. Like Cruz is what fucks up the entire thing for Madrid because he's a liability when you guys don't have the ball, and even when you have the ball because he's so immobile. No, but, but I think we saw against Leipzig that Madrid weren't able to, you know, control the possession, and dominate at home. So I, I don't know if they'll be able to do that against City. You know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think obviously City they they love to keep the ball. Yeah. Happy, uh, happily. Madrid need to, they need to just rely on their counter attacks and transition, especially, and just keep on quiet. That's really good. Can do that. The result is closed. So really good. Be honest. Well, the thing is, you can't. You're gonna need to have your spells in possession. Yeah, of course, team, yeah. Like you're gonna need to have that. So that's where that's where like that's why I don't trust y'all's midfield. Like. And then attack. You don't have a fixed number nine, so it's yeah. Just... He's, he's going to be the killer one. Yeah, the, the person that's going to kill the goals off, and yeah, that's that's the, that's the problem. With Jude. I don't think Jude is able to do it. Like, he's done his done his fair share this whole season, but I think you can't rely on him to do it again against City and the whole team need to step up, especially Rodrigo because he's been very quiet this year. I'd say. He's had his purple patch, but he's got to step up, though, man, for them to yeah, go what through. He was, what he was definitely needed. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really tough because it's just a Winnie and Bellingham, and that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. And no, you got to take away his Brazilian passport. <laughs> Impossible, he's Brazilian. <laughs> Rodrigo is good, but man. It's like he balls for like a couple of weeks and then he dips and then he starts balling again and dips again. Like he's inconsistent. Not, yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I think 
to be fair, his best position is left wing. I mean, when Vinny was out, he was he was doing his position on his wing. But I think if you're going to be honest, do you think Rodrigo for the rest of Madrid to be playing in the second fiddle or not be playing in his best position? I don't think. Yeah, I think he's going to leave. But yeah, I don't. Why would he be playing right wing when that's not even his best position at all? He's just accommodating for somebody else. I feel like he had enough time to get adjusted to it. Like, it's nothing yeah. that he has to play on the right side. Like, it's been more than two seasons. Vinny has been doing really, really good on the left side. Oh, what do y'all think about right. Holland? What do you think about Holland in this style? You don't think Holland goes crazy? I, nah, I don't. Nah, I think with Rudiger, nah, man, I don't, I don't think he's going to do all that stuff. I just think he'll be quiet just the way he was last season, man. I just think Ancelotti just overthank it by benching him. From him benching Rudiger, I think, yeah, yeah, it was just stupid. Okay. Um, yeah, stupid, stupid. I think that's like benching a player that you knew he didn't win no duels. He was on him all the time. For you to bench him and then put Militao. Will, Mil- will Militao be back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll be back. You know. To start? No, back? I don't like, know. Okay, so it'll be like Chul Many? Or is it going to be Chul Many? Oh, that's that's, that's not good. Man. Man. That's not good news, is it? Uh, hopefully Militao will be back in it. Because he's... He, Militao is more... He's been back for a while. But I think he needs to play in the game on the March the 30th. And then we wait, 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 wait. Why are you saying hopefully? Not hopefully. Are you a Madrid what? fan? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I've never no. seen a PSG fan hope no. for Madrid no, no, players I, to come back. No, no, no. I just, I, no, I just don't want C to go through. That's what I'm saying. I don't want C to go through. I just want C out. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, don't want, you don't want us to face them? Is that why? No, it's not that. But if it was to face City, we'll counter the fuck out of City, bro. Absolutely. Yes, we'll beat City. I'm not afraid of City. I just don't want to play City. I just want to play. They're too boring, right? They're going to make the game boring. Like, yeah. That's, very that's... dull. Like, try to keep the ball for long bouts. Like, I go. wish we play boring games, though, sometimes. It's nice. And, and I mean, you, you don't think our U-shape is uh, boring? <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is like Hakimi sometimes. You know, he tries to spice it up a little bit too much. Mm. You know, they're doing crib turns in his box. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. sometimes he wants to give the ball to the other team, you know, let them in a bit. <laughs> no, I, I think Madrid will edge it. Um, and then, like, one thing people don't take into consideration that much is, is just the hunger, especially in the Champions League. The City team is, is cooked motivational wise, both in the Premier League and in the Champions League. Madrid, I, th- I think they're more hungry for that game than City. So I, think that, I, mean, I think it's a good thing for Real Madrid that uh, Man City have that tight to playing like Arsenal like a week before the playoffs. So I think that's a good I think the last time we played them in the semis, they were pretty much already like I think they trashed Arsenal and they pretty much had the Premier League in the back. So this time around, they have like other things to focus on. So I hope that this will also help us out a little bit. But of course, we need we need a big win at the back. Yeah, yeah. You think a one goal difference that is enough? enough? No, more than that. Um, okay, if, if we move to the Arsenal wait, 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 game, wait, but, wait before you yeah, yeah, Arsenal, as a Madrid player, like who do you fear in that city team individually, or is it just the collective that more so scares you? Like, or I mean, the point, so that's definitely one player that I don't like, but I mean, generally, annoying, depressing. It's really, really hard to deal with. They're just a good collective in general, but this way, someone that I don't like. Who, De Bruyne? Yeah, De Bruyne. Oh, you, say, you say you don't like, like him, you say? Like he balls against us, like always, he, and, like he gets assist or he scores against us like every time. 
I think I think Madrid are able. I'll say they're able to nullify him, man. I, I think even there's a lot of systematic plays in that city team, man. I think Walker can get rinsed as well. I don't. I think Vinny can do the job. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like he. Yeah. yeah. He's crazy. Yeah, he old as hell now. Like they gotta yeah, get him out the paint, man. Yeah, and I think I think the only thing that's saving him is what are we doing up left, running left, running right. Bernardo has to drop back. I think that's what's just saving him a lot. But I think under transition, I think Real Madrid could do them. If Liverpool's doing them with Luis Diaz, he's not able to finish. We got they got obviously Madrid got a better finishes. If he put them in them situations, it will be a very long day. Ace, ace. Did I hear we? <laughs> I'm seen as a coll- sorry. I'm seen as a collective because <laughs> you know me. I'm speaking as a third person. I'm just. I'm just gonna pay a profile picture, so it might be next year. <laughs> yeah, not, he's man. preparing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Tony's saying Liverpool got pace, Madrid don't. No, we got pace. Yeah, Madrid Madrid got pacey players. It's pace. Faith had it, it's pace. It's pace. I don't think that's the issue. Mm. Okay, if we move to Arsenal, Bayern. Bayern should cook Arsenal. I hope. Arsenal are asked. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Arsenal, I know, I know. Let's be realistic, and their their defense is very, very good. And I think I know Kane will score because I mean he's coming back to North London. He always scores. He always, he always scores. scores. Yeah, Arsenal. yeah, yeah. No debate. But I think it will be a tight game. I don't know who would win though, man. But I think it won't be like a high scoring game because Arsenal have the best defense in Europe. If we're gonna be honest, so and they they concede less goals also. So. Mm, but I don't know. No, nah, this gonna be that. this gonna be exposure. Like this is gonna oh, yeah. be a night where people yeah, yeah. get exposed. I think oh, yeah. this. I think Arsenal's defense that you've been raving. I think they get exposed. Okay. Yeah, because uh, why is their defense so good? Team. It's Luton Town. It's Sheffield United. It's Burnley. It's Fulham. It's all of these taxes, man. The Premier League is a garbage league, especially attackingly when it comes to those bum clubs. What I think Bayern will do, as they've done a lot of big games under Tuchel, they will sit back. The Arsenal have the ball. Arsenal aren't really that good with the ball. And then Bayern will be really good from the counter-attack. Coleman is going to be back for that game, I think. Maybe Leroy Sané, for the first time in his career, can have an actual big game. <laughs> yeah, Kane, 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 Kane doesn't score in big games, but luckily for him, Arsenal is not a big game, so... <laughs> <laughs> and I think Bayern, I mean, the league is done. They are not winning it. They are out of the contest. So, complete focus on that. I think that will also help. Yo, KZ, yeah. Uh, where are you from, bro? Yo, yo, yo Kingsley, c- c- could you try to go out and then join again? Cause yeah, it's like some weird uh, mix sound, so, so some oh. like sound from your microphone. Mommy, no, no. I, I think he's Danish, DJ. Oh, okay, okay. I was gonna say he sounds. Uh, he got the accent. Yeah. Um. What, t- t- what are you saying, Arsenal Bayern? Uh, no, um, I'm probably going to say Bayern. First leg is at the Allianz, right? I think so. Wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait, so... wait, 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 let me just double check. No, first leg is uh, uh, Emirates. Oh, that's even worse for Arsenal. Yeah, like probably Arsenal win, maybe 1-0. And then they go to the, the Allianz and it's, it gets nasty. Like maybe 3 1, <laughs> like 4 1. Yeah. Yeah. I think Musiala's going to have a full day. Yeah, all they play is 
all their players gonna be, you know, racking up the GA. Yeah. Yeah, because mine have been very mid away from home. But when they play at home, good good to decent. Yeah, as long like, as uh, it's, it's not yeah, Arsenal, Frank, Arsenal Frank. not gonna travel well to Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they they, they have P, they they got they got PTSD from a couple of years ago. I think that's just gonna be haunting them as well. Thinking, yeah, I think they have a lot. Yeah, the pressure will be thinking we need to get back at them or whatever the case is. But Bayern are just coming to do the job and to go to the next round. And yeah, just get them. That's the thing. Like if Arsenal were a Liverpool, this is a discussion. You know what I'm saying? Like Arsenal yeah. just they're not built for this. No disrespect. Wait, so you think you think Bayern win? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ooh, I think they I'm get. I think they sealed the deal second leg. Yeah, but I just, I just don't see how Bayern can contain Arsenal though. Arsenal aren't that. I mean, Porto <laughs> could contain Arsenal. No, but P- Porto, uh, Bayern can't defend like Porto though. You know, yeah. like in, yeah, we've seen yeah, how yeah. we've seen how uh, how much Bayern has struggled this year defensively. How many I mean, teams in the Premier League can attack like Bayern? Uh. That's what maybe, I'm saying. That's what... Maybe like three or four, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Well, when you say attack like Bayern, you mean like attacking teams that want to attack or you mean teams that are good enough to score goals? Because a team like Brighton, Brighton want to attack, but Brighton don't have, they don't have... Harry but there are many teams like that in every league. There's a, there's a Brighton in every league like that. Is there a Brighton that, in every league? That fifth to tenth place team that's who's, just who's really the, good. Who's the Brighton in Liga? Lil, maybe I don't know. Lil, yeah, Lil. <laughs> maybe Breast, Lil, Lil or Breast, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bre- Although, no, Bre- Breast wanted the Bre- Breast are happy to defend, though. I think I don't know if Breast are like a attacking, attacking side like that, you know. Yeah, they can play a bit adaptive, yeah, yeah. Who do you yeah. say is the Brighton of uh, La Liga? Girona? Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. That's that's a good one. Mid Mid team. System merchants. What about uh, Syria? I would have said Atlanta in the past, but I think they're a bit better defensively now. Sassuolo for a little bit when the Zerbi had him. Yeah, that's a good show. Yeah. Same manager as well. Yeah. Mm, and, and last game, Dortmund, Atletico Madrid. <sighs> Brassy upset here. First game is Metropolitana as well. Second one, yeah, uh, yeah. Duna Park. Because if, if if Dortmund survived the Wanda, lose like one nil. But but let's be realistic. You really think Dortmund without defense? They I don't think they. Well, that's the thing. Their defense has been overperforming, and Atleti are just. But you know what, Athletic call up. You see, when they want to attack and they don't want to do the sit back. Very when Atletico good. have to be proactive, when they're yeah. the better team, when they they have the better players and everything, they always fumble the bag. But the the game against Inter is short to me though, man. I'll be really honest, the way they were playing. But I mean, if Inter they were underdogs, they were underdogs. We, everyone was glazing Inter. Like we, we and it was like, what's going on? Like. Everyone was and, glazing Inter after the first. Like, oh man, Inter, they played this. Oh. <laughs> like, bro, you, you ain't wrong there, man. I think if Turam finished his one v one, he had yeah. blood. Yeah, and 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 what's his name, Barello? And um, what's his name? Uh, Dom no, Pedro. they're better. They're better than Atleti. They're they're probably yeah. a better team than Atleti, like for sure. It's just right. I I don't see just I think Dortmund with them being better than Dortmund, with Atleti being better than Dortmund, they're gonna have to be more proactive, and I don't think that suits them. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna fuck them up. Like, bro, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's, it's like 2020 all over again. Justin, you seen like uh, when when they played Leipzig? Who's this? Atleti. Yeah, you remember when they got knocked out by Leipzig? Oh, back in 2020. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Dortmund play a bit similarly to. To like Leipzig, like these German teams, all the same. Yeah, I, I think the only difference between Dortmund and Leipzig, especially that Leipzig team, is 
I think Dortmund are happy to to counterattack sit back. Whereas obviously Leipzig, you know, more of a front foot team. Mm. For me, it's just Dortmund who's gonna get the goals. Yeah. Because Adiem is not a good, great goal scorer. The Ooh. Sancho purple patch. <laughs> Um, and I and I mean that in in a goal scoring fashion. Like Sancho would always be good. Yeah. Just like that goal versus PSV. I don't know how many goals like that he would he would save for this tie. Mm -hmm. But yeah, maybe the second leg not being played at the Metropolitano is it's not good for Atletico because they always want to finish off the game there. Yeah. So who are you going with? I'll go with that lady. <sighs> I'm 50-50, man. Yeah, I, I think, think this is the hardest time. Yeah, because imagine Dortmund want to be like, oh, because they're the underdogs. Everybody expects a flaker to win. Because yeah. Dorman's not, yeah. So I think Dorman, if they want to cause an upset, this is this is the game. So I think they should just park the bus, fuck it, first leg. And then second leg, back at their home ground, just do everything they can to grab something. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying I'm saying 1-0. Yeah. 2-0, win extra time against his Yeah, something like that. Well, Sancho better do a masterclass. If he does a masterclass, hey... <laughs> Should we sign him? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ten Hag will be thinking, fuck, like he will be. I hope he does his thing though, man. Like, I'm, I'm ruining them, man. I don't, I don't want Atletico to come through, man. They're just. Nah, I don't want them to come through. No, nah, but I, I'm, not, I'm not afraid of the prospect of facing it in a blood. No, no, no. If no team, no team in this draw phase me. No tool, man. Yeah, I, I think, think they all fear PSG. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When it comes, because um, because what team what team is able to stop the transition of that front three of Mbappe and Ben? I don't. It's too much, man. Too much. <clears throat> and majority of these teams are not, especially Arsenal. These teams and they're, they're not. They don't really see teams. I like don't. They won't. They won't understand that a Bayern. Are very scary under transition with the Coleman, with the Sane, with the Musiala, the Kane. This is Arsenal's big test. So we'll see how they, we'll see how they react. Yeah, Arsenal. I think I think Arsenal will start well, but I just don't see them traveling well at all. Like I think. But... Yeah, especially under pressure, like they don't have no European pedigree at all. Yeah. 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 So that that heritage plays a plays a big part. So basically, we have PSG, um, Bayern, Madrid, yeah, and Dortmund. Yeah, come. Oh, you that. guys figuring Dortmund over Atletico? Yeah. Or or Atleti. I mean, I don't. I don't really care. But... I can't see Dortmund winning that man. Same. Uh -huh, real. Fleco, if Fleco are just too strong for them to be fair, but it is the Champions League. Yeah, but, yeah, it's the Champions League. You never yeah. know. You never know, man. You never know because you know it'd be it'd be good for the narrative though if they yeah. beat Bletti because you know you can't delegitimize our group. Absolutely, the group of death and all that. Like, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. You know, it's just the angle I'm working on. But yeah. Atleti ain't really a tall, tall task, honestly. Yeah, not at all. You just, you just with a play, you just gotta finish your chances. Just literally, yeah. When you have the opportunity, you just bury it. I just don't even know how we'll play against Barca. I think it's Lucho. He's just so unpredictable. Yeah, that's. Like, that's the thing. I think we should just 
counter attack them as much as possible in our first leg. Get as much goals as we can with his two, three. I think our press. I think our press is going to generate so many errors, man. Yeah, because the way we press as well is is going to force them a mistake. Absolutely. Yeah, there's so many players that you can press back there. Like they won't be able to get out of it. They'll be playing long balls to yeah. Lewandowski. Get get tied to Lewa. He's losing every door. Yeah. Oh man, oh man. It's, I don't know how Barca fans are actually like confident, dude. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's the open confidence is it's, it's delusion. And then you have their social media platform tweeting, remember this? Showing all these Remotada clips. PSC just <laughs> chilling in the background, stoic. You know, all right. Y'all want to do all this goofy shit? Like, we'll see y'all April tenth. It's gonna be a massacre, dude. So you guys are quite confident, then? Yeah, as soon, yeah. As, as, soon as as soon as we smoke you, Lord, and then the podcast is available one live, I'll be there. Absolutely. Make sure you're there as well. Don't run, because I'm very confident. Yeah, for some reason, people just don't want to admit that we're the, clearly the strongest side of the team in our bracket, our side of the bracket. No, I, I think that's for sure. Because I just feel like, and not to discredit us, but I feel like it's very, it's four sort of flawed teams, but we're just clearly the best of, of those teams. And we have the highest ceiling as well. Every team is flawed, both brackets. No, so. of course. No, I, I don't. Yeah. I, I think I think the, the other bracket, like, if if one of those four, except for Arsenal, wins the Champions League, I think I wouldn't be too surprised, you know? Oh yeah, like City Bayern. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Madrid. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> one thing I'm wondering though, Tristan, you know, after the draw, like the representatives of the club always answer questions. Barca's representative answered questions, but not Nasser or Campos. Do you think they didn't want to answer any questions? Because they don't give a fuck about Barca? Let the football. No, nah, they would have. They would have been talking about Mbappe. That's why. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Hey, did you guys see the the thing with um Jamie Carragher and uh, K Abdo? Honestly, no. Like, oh, you didn't, what, what exactly happened? Was it like, like basically, like he he? I, I don't know exactly what he said, but he was implying like that Kate was un, unfaithful, you know, to her husband or some shit. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 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 Basically, he said like what? Like you're not loyal to Malik. <laughs> it was crazy. Like the silence was crazy though. Afterwards. No, no, no. But but I I think they all do that on purpose, DJ. Because yeah. I I would say the majority of the people that watch them, it's not grown ups. It's not. <laughs> It's not 20 plus year old men that watch CBC Sports Golasso with Henri Car Carragher, Richards, and, and that woman. It's kids, <laughs> DJ. So they're putting sexual stuff in a football thingy. Like, that's supposed to be about football. First of all, why do you think they have a woman in the show? Women don't know anything about football. The only reason they have her there is to have her as a sexual object to oh for God. horny that, men that to attract. Like, she's, she's not that bad. Like she, she's she's good at her job. Right, bro, chill, chill. I'm saying the intention she is there. The, in, the only intention she is there is because of her appearance and not because of her football knowledge. If they wanted someone because of football knowledge, they would bring another ex football player. Yeah, and all of this sexual tension between her and Henri is so disgusting, man. <laughs> Henri is married. She is married. <laughs> Well, no, I, it disgusts me because the that's only people that think that's entertaining are like 15 year olds everyone else <laughs> like you're disgusting yeah we're just here for the ball bro that's honestly facts we're just here for the ball because you see me with me I'm, I'm an honest person if I was Malik and I'm seeing that stupid little flirtatious <laughs> things I swear to world. God, I would eliminate people that are even entertaining <laughs> stuff I swear to God brother because bro how's a man yeah just chilling what Henry gets what Henry wants, bro. What kind of and these little small things? I just think, bro, oh, no, like, <laughs> like, no, but it's like mad unnecessary. Like, 
And then and he goes, no, it's because yeah. Harvey, Harvey just be looking for a connection all the time. He always be he be doing the eye yeah, contact thing, it. man. He just loves yeah, yeah, yeah. You, no, you, he's, devil, he's, you he's, devilish he's, nigga, man. Like doing the eye contact shit. You know what you're doing, bro. Like, it's like, crazy, man. And you know his his Jamie character and Mike are just instigating it like kids. Nah, but you know he just yeah, he, yeah, a, yeah. he the corny white dude though. Like they want to like just make a joke, like. Because everybody there got a personality. You know, what, you know what I'm saying? Like it, like yeah. But 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 just an Henri is the black dude that wants to be white so bad. <laughs> like he always wants to fit in with like the white people. He always has to be cool as well. Like you're not cool. Like you're not cool. You you went to a big club and everyone saw you as a bum. Nobody respected him at Barca. Yeah, he ran, he ran to Barca and just clicked in the middle there. He couldn't get Arsenal, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. Married and acting like that. And it's not like he did it once and then stopped. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's why I think it's forced. That's why I think CBC Sports Golasso tells them to play the sexual game. Because that's what gets his back. I saw yeah, a yeah, video probably, on Twitter. Probably, he got 30 million. Into. He got yeah. 30 million views, Tosin. The video of what DJ said. When he said, yeah. oh, you're not loyal to Malik. He got 30 million views. And who's fucking watching that and thinking that's entertaining? It's kids. Because they love, you know, the sexual tensions and everything. Because they can't get it for themselves. It's like porn on fucking football <laughs> pundit, man. <laughs> Disgusting, man. Uh, I never want to be part no, of that fucking true, sexual uh, Illuminati organization ever again. You just breathe, have to man. see the S after being on them. <laughs> oh, okay. Now nah, fuck him, Tosin. Fuck him, Tosin. <laughs> fuck him. Because, you know, it wasn't obviously the first one. A lot of people tagged them in my, like, edgy, controversial tweets. And they, they, they didn't respond back. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I know it's that for that reason. Because they want to <laughs> stay politically correct. Fuck off. Like, you're literally having sex on live television. That is sexual uh, discourse, sexual indulgence, indulgence on your live TV show. Oh... And, and that's why, look, when you see a woman in a pundit thing, don't watch. Turn on. Like, sometimes I, I go and sit and I want to watch the Swedish national team. I hear a woman commentating the game. I hear a woman commentating the game. Yeah, Football's cook, man. Football's cook. No, it is. Football. Women referees as well. Soon women managers in football. Like, what is this? Do you think, do you think if Kate wasn't <clears throat> looks wise appealing she would be on that on that on that on that on that oh that no no now. if she was yeah. fat absolutely oh, no yeah if she was i don't even yeah. think that. If she was i mean she's mid she's mid she looks like a granny uh, just a bunch of makeup and, and fit. is that even her real hair man like <laughs> what's going on the man? fake fucking prostitute eyelashes as well Oh my god, that's a married woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's not acting like one. No, no. Wait, is she married? <laughs> yeah, she is, so? Tosin. That, she is. She oh is. no, then why is she all doing all that with Harvey? Well, she's not even doing anything. No, but, 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 but that's what Jamie said, Tosin. Jamie said, Oh, she, he, she, he said, like, Oh, you're not loyal. And then she said, Yeah, I'm loyal to United. And then he said, Oh, you're not loyal to Malik. That's some crazy shit, man. How can I ever come to your head? If, if, online, if, if somebody's able to say that, just know that oh, on live television she was doing things that were not loyal like it's just yeah, yeah how was a man yeah. comfortable to say that in live tele- bro you know if i was malik i said this already and i was watching Ooh, that, you, talk, you talk about jamie yeah 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 yeah. when he said that comment if i was malik and i was watching i'll be thinking whoa what's going on because how was nothing, a man comfortable nothing is to sacred say that? anymore yeah nothing is sacred anymore. yeah nothing i think it's exposed now what well, even Henri, he was he was shocked he he didn't even know what to do when he said that Shocking show. Ain't, ain't no oh, way you can play always okay. looks at her but like this picture here when he puts like his filthy disgusting hand on her like here like they're supposed to be talking about football <laughs> what's this man hey, you look 
let's be honest. If you're the husband of Kate, and you're seeing this. What's your? What, 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 do you not think this is not? This is cheating. This is cheating. Oh wait, wait. Is it? Is that her arm on his? Yes. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Hari, Hari. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's that happens a lot at the workplace. If a woman feels comfortable enough to touch your forearm, <laughs> yeah, like she want it. But like here, Tosin. Women don't just this, touch any dude. Like, trust me. They this don't just one touch, here? They don't touch. Like women touching just don't, the hand, yeah, touching the hand. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, yeah, trust me. If a woman, if she's touching like that at the workplace, it's, yeah, it's on. <laughs> you know, she actually fouled, son. She fouled. <laughs> like, it's crazy, man. So, so this is like the new football pundit for for the new generation. Put sex into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this, it's like a soap uh, opera for football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Like they're they're supposed to be talking. I about can't football. watch it. I can't. I can't even watch it. Like I don't. None of them. None of their football analysis intrigues me enough to want to watch this shit. Like none of them. Yeah, it's just. But funny, I mean, right? but I'm, I'm, I'm like guessing. Great. Wait, is it just like they just they just crack jokes? Um, so they do like a little breakdown of like you know. So basically, it's more like just like a like friends, you know, uh, in, inside the NBA TNT shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally like that, but for but for football. So it's like Henri and Carragher, you know, looking at some clips of highlights, and then occasionally though they do do a little bit of breakdown. So it's, it's literally like like TNT inside the inside the NBA. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I'd say it's more like jokey comedy. Like Michael Richards is, is Shaq, you know. Kate is uh, Ernie. I'd say maybe Jamie is like a mix of Chuck. And, uh, Jamie is Fred. Chuck. Jamie is yeah. actually funny. I don't think so. No, like he, he no, tries. No, like dumb, both dumb. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but Charles Barkley is hilarious. <laughs> And I, I hate how Terry Henry always tries to like sound smart. Like you're not smart, you dumb. What's his Henry agenda, man? Yo, he hates. No, I, I, I hate Henry like uh, as a person so much. And Why? talking talking about all of this, we have another filthy rat, LeBron, oh, Rick shit. James. Oh, this is God. a married man. This is a married man. Oh, yeah, Wait, you're, why are you blaming Han, Why are you blaming LeBron? What LeBron do? I'm not even. Don't even make me defend LeBron. Tosin, <laughs> look at look at that. <laughs> I mean, that's Jenny way, Buzz. Jenny Buzz. A lot, like a lot of shit. She had a. She's had a lot of shit. She sucked a lot of dick in her life. I would just say that. <laughs> Genie bus, like, so I mean, that's normal. Bro, this world is finished, man. No, I, I just hate how they they have put like they made sex so normal and sexual tensions like they they put it everywhere now. Like, keep keep basketball, basketball, keep football, football. But I say it's for the new generation. Like, if if you pull up, if you create a new YouTube account and you scroll through the the shorts they pop up for you, majority of them are like of a woman's ass or a woman's tits or anything. Like, this is what YouTube wants people to see: sexual stuff, and it's majority kids that wear shorts as well. <laughs> Your mind is dirty mode, it's a normal interaction. Jet, LeBron James is married and he's letting another woman just lay on his like <laughs> look, maybe I'm a bit conservative. Maybe I have I come from a you know a more classical uh, mindset. No, you're not you're not wrong, you're not wrong because mm. with the wife, she she doesn't even take pictures with men at all. So if if the if the borderline is if there's boundaries and he's just disrespected it, then he's in the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Or I have another one. And here's a female. So it's even, you know, um, we can even cook her even more here. Uh, we obviously know who Steph Curry is, the the basketball player. Yeah. Very feminine basketball player. Um, 
And this is his wife. So she, she, she's sitting here in a... Is it this? No. Wait, was it there? Uh, Wait, are you gonna? Are you bringing the Steph Aisha Curry thing? Come on, dude. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. No, no, let's go back to football, man. Them this, on. Isn't, this isn't the view, man. Come on. Man. How how is this? Like, how are you as? First of all, her absolutely no shame. But how is Steph Curry still keeping this as his wife, joking about removing a ring when she sees another naked man entering the room? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right, Tosin. We can go back to football. I have my rant, man. I have my rant. Didn't Steph touch she? I don't know. Probably. All right, Tosin, pick it, pick it, pick a talking point, please. This is all I got in my head at the moment. <laughs> Those are late night topics. I mean, it's because I've actually not slept. So at the moment, I'm on, on like, like my f like 30, 35th hour battery. So for me, it's like late, 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 late night. What are Ace Kingsley and D DJ's thoughts on juice? Don't duck. <laughs> what what kind what of question is that, bro? <laughs> Wait, was it? Oh, juice. I thought he said juice, like fucking um, like steroids. Okay, do you want, do you want me to be real and honest? I just think I mean, they're. I just, like juice. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, they're just <laughs> they're just people like us. We're just everybody's human. Um. Yeah, that's that's all I gotta say. I ain't got any hatred upon them. But yeah, they're just they're just Jews. I mean, Nothing I'm special. German, so there's a history there. Mm -mm. <laughs> Where do you guys no get comment. this? Yeah, good answer. <laughs> like in general, I don't care if you're a Jew or not. Like, no, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. I judge human beings by how they are. Like, if you're Jewish. Muslim, Christian, whatever. If you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. Period. Yeah, because like I hate Vinny, not because he's black, <laughs> but because he's a disgusting rat. And I love Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, as a Madrid fan, doesn't he like sometimes you like, yo, Vinny, behave, man. I mean, stop, of stop. That situations like that, but I don't know. It's difficult for me because I, I don't know how it is when you're. Like in every away game, pretty much the fans they attack you. The players they also play some mind games with you because they know they're gonna. Hey hate guys, you. I go. go. Well, uh, thanks for having me. Take care, DJ. Take care. Take care. See you next time. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go. I don't know how it is. I don't know how it is when a full stadium is booing you every time you touch the ball. I don't know how it is when you know you have some. Random fans is chanting racist chants because that's what it is for some games that you aren't even playing in. So I don't know, it's tough. Because I think also, I mean, I just don't think he's the sort of player that just keeps his head down and just goes through it, goes like just you know handles it, just let it be. Because I also think it's not gonna stop even if he just keeps his head down. Because I feel like as long as he doesn't stop scoring and assisting. The fans, like the opposing fans, are yeah. hating because they know that's how they can get to him. Like his performance, like it gets worse when he gets teased a little bit, when the fans are on on his back. Like yeah, but like uh, the um, the Leipzig game, you think he should yeah. have gone red card for that? Nah, I think that's a bit much. I think yellow was fair. I think, I mean, it was a push. For me, it's, it's yeah. the hands on uh, the yeah. neck. Like, if we're playing football, 
Yeah. And you do that to me or I do that to you, we play on. We don't care. I mean, that happens. But yeah. I've just seen other football players, as soon as they put hands on Nick, it's a straight red card. I feel like the it's just the picture. I feel like when I saw the picture, then I feel like if you only see the picture, then I can understand where you're like, okay, it's a red card. But I feel like he was just going for a push and yeah, he hit his neck. And I don't think he was aiming for his neck. He just wanted him to push and his hands landed on his neck. So I think the little card was fair. Okay, okay. But again, of course, like, of course, I was a little bit pissed when you did that. But again, I don't know what happened before that. Because I do feel like something must have happened and that wasn't like out of nowhere. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, because Baran is saying here he got kicked in the head prior to the push. Yeah, okay. So that would make sense. But still, of course, against City, he can't do that because if he do, if he does that, then he won't miss the second leg because he was on a yellow. Yeah, what well, Madrid players is it that can't get a yellow? Um, Kamavinga, Jude, Vinicius, and I think Shumini as well. So yeah. Wait, so if if they get a yellow card in the second leg, then that, then you go matter. to the semis. Do they? That doesn't matter. They get reset it. Okay. I mean, one of them is probably going to get, maybe even two players are going to get yellow card. I don't think Vinny will get it, if I'm being honest. I don't yeah, think I, I don't see anyone. Yeah, I don't see anyone from City. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. That's the only way he can get a yellow if he gets provocated. And yeah, I don't think he's going to do a superpower or anything. Jude, yeah, and Jude, please. Has been collecting yellow cup. His name is Kamavinga. Yeah. So these two are, I think, they maybe to get it. Okay. Uh, yes, Osan? You know what I hate about Mbappe? <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of stuff. <laughs> no, but what I ultimately hate is the fact that what I dislike is that we need him more than we hate him. You know, it's no, like that scene. I, it's, it's like that scene. I don't think we need him that much, Sosa. I think no, now, this season, we need him. Yes. Because the entire team has been built around him. The entire summer was... The project was building the best possible team around Kylian Mbappé. We just need another summer transfer window with a huge budget to strengthen the, the entire squad. With yeah, the money that we get from I'm, I'm ultimately yeah. talking about this season, yeah. Okay, this season, yeah, we definitely need them, especially from a, a goal scoring perspective. I don't, th yeah, that's the only thing we need, we need him for because we don't have any possibilities else. he can have with us, man. Like, you fucked up, man. <laughs> okay, Tosin, he fucked up. Like, Tosin, it's like deep down, you want him to say, Tosin, forgive me. I want to come back. I want to extend. Like, why do you still want that to happen? Hasn't he done enough? Yeah. Bruh, the fact that he's going to win this shit, because I, I know we're winning the Champions League now. He's going to win this shit and then hold that Ballon d'Or up at the Bernabeu. Like, I said this. I, 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 genuinely think, I genuinely think that's, what, that's fucking, exactly how he's going to snake, go man. He's such a snake, man. You're not gonna hold it in the butt, the plants, man. Where, where we, where we raised them. I'm not gonna do it, man. <clears throat> mm, yeah, wh like, why does that does that matter so much to you, Tosa? <laughs> like, I don't care. And Bobby can lift 100 Ballon d'Ors in Madrid. I wouldn't give a fuck. Nah, you, you, when your player lifts the Ballon d'Or, you're the center. Don't you get it? You're like, you're at the center. There's some oh, symbolic God. meaning behind it as well. Like, such an L, man. There's a reason why Premier League team players don't win it. Because nobody cares about them. And because of Messi. I mean, what if Messi didn't exist? The winners wouldn't have been from the Premier League. I mean, Haaland probably would have won it, though. 
Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Only one. Oh, like Van Dyke. Yes, right, Van Dyke as well. Bro, that's why I told you from my sources, we're looking at Holland this summer. What about nah, Holland is not joining you guys. All right, that's fine. You don't need to believe it. Wait, wait, wait. Kingsley, Kingsley. Do you think Holland, Holland were Holland, Holland just too? played? Holland just won a treble at Manchester City. Didn't win the champ, the Ballon d'Or. His teammates don't even rate him. Actually, I'm not okay. They, it's not like they don't rate him, but you know, they cheekily say things here and there to like undermine him, but. Like, don't get me wrong, I think he has to leave Man City, but I don't think it's going to be PSG because, I mean, I feel like his chances to win a Ballon d'Or are, are even less with PSG because at least with Man City, you got the whole Premier League hype around you. Yeah, but, but, but Kingsley, Kingsley, in his first season, he broke a Premier League record that was that stood there for over like 20, 30 years and nobody gave a, gave a fuck. Yeah, because like, Messi won a World Cup. No, 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 no. Why Haaland was in contention to win the Ballon d'Or was because City won the Champions League. Yeah. If you guys beat them and won the Champions League, Haaland wouldn't even be top four. Like, I'm, I'm just saying what happens in the league, nobody cares. Like, I when Messi scored all... Four. I mean, Sadio Mane, when Benzema won it, I think he was top three. Yeah, but, but, but Sadio Mane was there because of AFCON. AFCON, come on. I mean, no, it, it was because of AFCON. It wasn't. Like, that's what they overhyped him for. And, and plus, Liverpool went to the final as well. He had nothing to do with the league. And, and Kingsley, if I ask you, do you think Haller will retire at uh, City? No. You think he will leave? Yeah, I think he will leave. So what clubs are there he could leave to? Name me every somewhat pos po po potential uh, possibility. I honestly think Bayern Munich after Kane. Because they were already flirting with him when he was at Dortmund. Why would you go back to the Bundesliga though? Yeah. I think he'll go to Barca. I think he'll go to yeah, for, 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 no, no, for me, it's, them, it's Barca or PSG. These are the only two clubs he can go to. Because he's not going to go to the, uh, another club in Premier League. He's not going to join up with Mbappe and Madrid. So the eyes too broke. And he's not going to go to Bayern. It's PSG or Barca. It was it, it, before he passed away. Mino Raiola. It, it was his idea to put to bring Holland to PSG from 2021, yeah. three years ago. It's gonna happen. I mean, Holland at PSG would be crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, Kingsley, Kingsley. Yeah, <laughs> your mic, your mic is going crazy. Or if if there's a sound like around you, I don't know what it is. How's it now? No, it's still there. It's like <laughs> it's like a black and white TV back in the day. The sound that you used to make. Still. Yeah, yeah, still. still. Try, try go out and, and come in. And, and Tosin, this is what you brought before. Would you call if one Man City club legend could play one more game for the club? Don't say Sergio. You go on the bench. Like, Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. How can you say this? That's so crazy, man. Seeing it. Uh, I don't know how to even to react to that, man. Because Holland bought a Champions League. Not by himself, but Aguero couldn't do it. He scored more goals than Aguero's ever could. Obviously, Aguero yeah. Where, where, where's, where, where's Aguero's Premier League top goal scorer? Where's Aguero's Champions League? Yeah, he doesn't have it. Yeah, it, absolutely. You're not wrong. He, he doesn't have it. So for him to disrespect him like this is not, especially as the same teammate, is not professional. I think this is not. It's not good, man. I'll be honest. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's disrespectful, man. Because first of all, he's done it in his first season. If he done it in his like in his like third season, fourth season, but he done it. It came straight to England. He broke all the records and you're just saying this in front of him like he's some shit. Well, I'm telling you, it, that, that's why I'm kind of rooting for City to win the, the league again. But if they win the league one more time in your Holland, you're like, what's the point? Yeah, because he's, he's won everything. Yeah, he's won everything. 
he could leave if he wanted to next season or whatever the case is. Like he, he, he has nothing else to win. He's broke a record that I don't know whether there's going to be any broken time anytime soon. 36 PL goals is... Yeah. That record, how long has it been? And then that's the, and that's also when his secret release clause kicks in. There's a release yep. that's the summer it finally kicks in. And I'm telling you, PSG are ready to pay it. They're ready to pay it. No. Qatar are ready to pay it. Because they, they don't Mbappé give a goes, fuck. As soon as Mbappé goes, the wage bill is open. The money is there. There'll be money for that. They can sort that out. But yeah, very disrespectful, though, man. I could never say this to a teammate or man like this, like especially in front of television. Like, I don't know how Holland would be feeling. He'll be feeling. Man, that's just slimy, man. And you have to think about it. When Mbappe leaves, that gap at PSG, every top attacker in Europe sees that, and everybody wants to be that player to replace Kylian Mbappe at Paris Saint Germain. Do you think? Do you think? Hello, Rashford, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear your take off on it. Let me, let me hear your opinion. No, no, I don't like the thing about Rashford is on his day, <laughs> unbelievable yeah, talent. Yeah, but it's just that day, it's, it's like the 29th of February, it happens only once a year, man. Once every four years. Yeah, yeah that's the issue, man. But the thing is, if PSG want to do it, that Ben Jacobs report is is finished. It pretty much means that PSG are trying are looking into it, because Ben Jacobs denied it, saying that they'll only do it if Rashford says yes. That means they're trying to convince him, man. That's what that tells me. Like, oh man, we might get that dude, bro. Do you want to? Nah, Kavar is a better bet. I mean, I personally would love to see the big boy Rashford in Paris. Why, 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 why? Just for the jokes, I'm going to be with you. I mean, I'm just joking, he's, he's not good. But I also think Quara is not good. I feel like Quara, Liao, they are just not consistent enough yet. Mm, yeah, you're not wrong, but with Liao, I think should have watched it, but it just goes in a sense. I think he's still a dangerous player, but he's just on his day as well. That's the problem. I don't know, but like Liao Dembele would go crazy. You just need like the perfect nine, though. Yeah, simple as that. Yeah. I think I think put Liao in a in a because that Milan team is not it's not a well rounded team. Put him around PSG with technical plays in the midfield. He's got a dangerous attack. He's got he's got Giroud with him. He'll have Nuno behind yeah, him, Takimi, the other like. Hmm. Wait, do you believe in Gonzalo? Ramos. Yeah, like for another season. Like, would you be confident going into the season with him as our starter? Mm. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what impact he gives off, though. Like, he's just... He's another one that's just... I don't know for him. I, I, I'm not 100% too sure. Maybe, maybe another season, yeah, give him another chance. Because obviously, with me... Majority of the time, you give us you give a player a new club, he comes to a new team, give him one season to adapt, which is understandable. Not every person is a hard, not every person can just come to a team and then just cook. Some players are different, so give him another season. If he's still ass, then yeah, ship him off. Ship him off. And I don't know about Kulomani as well. <laughs> no, Kolo just gotta go. Like, no disrespect. Yeah, I, I think. I don't even know why we signed them. I think that's just a panic buy. Dembele as a 10 or Simmons. I can't lie, Dembele on the wing, man. Simmons as a 10. 
what you guys think about Kolomuani? I, I just think he's not... I don't think he's good enough for PSG, to be fair, man. I just think he's just good in the Bundesliga. I just think he should have just stuck at Frankfurt. I think we just bought him for no reason. There was no reason for us to buy him. And I'm even hearing reports when Mbappe leaves, of course, he'd want to play left wing because he's more suited to that. But we all know that's not happening. So, yeah. And that's, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what's amazing about him. Like, he doesn't. I don't know what he brings to the table. Like, I can't really tell you, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, I can tell you, don't buy players from Frankfurt. Just yeah. don't do that. <laughs> Get on wrong. I swear, I swear um, Jovic, if that's his name, uh, went to Real Madrid. He even yeah. played good. Yeah, and then he came out to Frankfurt and he started scoring at 20 goals in the league. Jovic, Andre Silva. Yeah. Sebastian Haller. I mean, Haller had the whole cancer thing. Yeah. Yeah, Haller let his he let his nuts hang, I guess. Nigeria. Yeah, that would that's that's a yeah, good narrative though, man. He he done his thing. Historic. Bruno Camaris. Hmm, good 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 player. Good player. Apparently he's Brennan. City want him. City want him. But the thing is, like, he needs to understand he would just be another Matthew Nunes. Like, he would just be another person that's just on the bench, man. You don't feel he's not going to start in that midfield. Come to PSG, he would definitely start. He's a top player. I just Bro, think I'm he's... looking at somebody else, man. Who? Joan Neves, man. This guy. This guy's gonna be something. How old is he now? I think he's twenty, twenty-one, or nineteen. Okay, okay. No, but like this guy is like I'm getting. He's like a mix of Verratti and Labatka. Okay. But like high level, it's crazy. Like. Very young as well. Yeah. I like his game, man. Like him, Vitinho, Warren, you got these diminutive ballers that are low to the ground. Like, you can't really beat them defensively. Yeah. And then they're just – you don't want to play against that. It's very annoying to play against that. And then you just have the talent we all have up top. just And the running power that we have down the wings, you know? Yep. He's a, he's a very good player, though, man. Very good player. He's yeah, he plays. He plays. He plays in a pivot with the, the other guy. Bro, I'm starting to think we we don't need no all heads, man. We don't need no all heads. That's what I'm starting to think. Like we don't need no 27, 28. We don't need that anymore, bro. Like I'm fucking with this year. Like like who do we need? Like that's on that level. Like Leao's gonna be 24, 25. So that's fine. I'm not. I'm not fine with signing anyone over 27 at this point, bro. Just yeah, and we need we need somebody else. That's hungry, they got legs, they're able to run. Yeah. Yeah, they have eagerness, so they have the hunger. You know what? You know we should sign Loki? Mm. We should we should sign Sherki, man. She mm. signs Shao Nevers and Sherki. Sherki. Ryan Sherki, yeah. Those oh are that 25, 25 minute camp uh, cameo. Did you see what he did? Eight dribbles yeah, in thirty yeah. minutes, goal and assist. The goal. Oh, is it out from the corner, right? Yeah, the corner. But dude, he was doing some crazy shit today, man. He was dribbling 40, 50 meters up the field, like taking off for. Do you have the comp? Is the comp there? Yeah. Bro, I think we should sign him, bro. Where would you play him? You can play him in the front line. Like false nine or on the wing. Yeah, I hear. Bettina just has to get keeps this up a bit consistently for the rest of the season. We we can have a discussion. Right, 
If we we get him, bro. We we knocking up Europe, bro. Like. Just get the ballers, man. Just get the ball. Like, he can do the false nine shit. I'm starting to think, fuck the OC, man. Like, just get a left winger instead. Spend that big money on a left winger like Leao but, or Kavara. But, so we have the money to do both. Especially now you're saying we don't need a world-class midfielder. You get OC and Leao. OC and Kavara. Double Napoli package. 200 M's. Yeah, you could do that, yeah. I mean, we'll we'll talk about that when it happens. But yeah, I'm not really feeling the Osimhen pick anymore. Like, if you get tight to him, you clamp him. Like a lot of these center forwards don't know how to play when defenders get tight to them. Like the art form is lost, man. Like. Like why well, you have like Turkey Dembele Kvara. And I'll see him up top. You could play Turkey as a 10, though, to us no? Yeah, you can play him anywhere. On the left, the right, middle. Yeah, man, I don't know why we're not looking at him. Because we don't need to sign old, old Bernardo. Like, you, you, think, you think Leonardo will want him? Campos wanted Cherokee last last year. You think he's a priority? I don't know, man. We just need to make up with uh, Mbappe's mom and uh, bring him in. Don't mm -hmm. sever the relationship. I don't think the relationship is even bad anymore between PSG and Mbappe's reps. Like they just know what it is at this point. Mbappe's gonna move on. Um. Yeah, and both parties will be fine. You are you there? Yeah, man. Oh, okay. I don't think the relationship is positive uh, because I mean. There are a lot of reports about uh, Faisal Amari Tosin victimizing Mbappe, saying that PSG are tarnishing his image by benching him and all of this and la la la. You know, she she's the rat, Tosin. Like her dad, Mbappe's dad, that's an actual respectful man. It's his mom that is the, the filthy one. Wait, who's the who's the more filthy one? What were you saying? Sorry, I'm just. But and Mbappe's mom. And Mbappe's mom. Because she's trying to victimize Mbappe Tosin by saying that Piazzi is turning and showing his image. Yeah. But I think we need to make up with her just so that we can get Sherky. Oh yeah, he. Fuck. Wait, you saw the the stuff about Hakimi though. Positive. Um. Oh, like the contract extension talks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. Nothing's nothing definite. And Tosin, look, um, uh, Nizar Cancela, he's like a Premier League reporter. Oh yeah, he's talking about Chelsea looking at Euro. No, no, no. Yeah, but the thing I liked about when he was talking about Lenny Oro is he mentioned that PSG are the front runners. What that tells you, Tosin, is what, what Felix Diaz, the Madrid mouthpiece, was saying was just his own garbage, Tosin, to delude the Madrid fan base. Because this is a guy that has absolutely no bias. See? He's not a French reporter, he's not a Spanish reporter. He, he wants to say the best about Chelsea by saying that. It's pretty much impossible to game because PSG are so, so like in the front running to get Lenioro. But I'm still waiting for more reporters to talk about Lenioro. Man, Yoro. I still think we can get them. What did you say? I still think we're going to get Yoro. I'm going to be real. 
No, no, I can agree with you on that, Kingsley. I'm just saying, do you trust the Felix Diaz reports that came out? Yeah, I think it's just that. I feel like because he made it sound like it's a done deal. He said Lenyoro yeah, only wants Madrid. La 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 la. No, it's not a done deal, but I think now Real Madrid slowly are starting approaching him. Like it's not done. He hasn't signed with PSG yet. It's just that PSG is just a lot more advanced than Real Madrid. But that can change. And also, I've read that that Lille might not really want to sell to you guys. Uh, no, th so that's another, you know, difference between Sp Spanish and French reporters. The French reporters have said that that's a, like a myth that Lille are... Because the thing is, Kingsley, Lille are not in a position where they can say a lot. Because Lenioro has one year left on his contract and is going to leave this summer because he doesn't want to extend his contract. So the most important thing, Kingsley, for Lille is just to get a, a good amount for him. And then, I mean, he will choose wherever he goes. So, as I said, the French reporters are saying, though, that's not true. Lille are okay with selling to PSG. The Spanish reporters are saying they don't want to sell to PSG. So, there's a conflict there. But Hinsley, even if it was true that they didn't want to sell to PSG, they would be forced to sell to PSG because they have no power in the negotiation. Every Madrid fan says Madrid won't deal with Mendes. Yeah, I could see that happening. Like, that's the thing with F Felix. Jay Felix, he's a mouthpiece for Madrid. So he's going to say, well, well, Madrid, the club, wants the fans to believe. Madrid, the club, wants the fans to be confident that Madrid are going to sign Lenyol. So he's not um, like an independent journalist. He just he doesn't he doesn't know shit. He yeah. works for Marca, right? Or Chiringuito? Yeah. One of those two. Uh, I think Marca, because they were copying all the, of the, of the stuff he said. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mbappe, man. I'm about to head to bed. Thanks for inviting me up. Appreciate it. Yeah. That's right. right, bro. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, Tosin, right. he's Marco. He's Marco, Tosin. Makes sense. Yes, Nam. Look, according to one reporter, not many, only one, he said that Lineuro had agreed to join PSG in January, but Lil didn't want to sell him because they're pushing for a European spa uh, towards the end of the season. And if that is true, then, like, we're just waiting until he becomes a PSG player in the summer. Oh, man. Yoro, Neves, Sherki, and Leao, or Cavara, one of those two. That's, that's all I need. That's enough. Uh, and, I mean, Xavi as well coming back. So you 100% keeping Xavi now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, while keeping Xavi, yeah. That's an insane batch of under 25 talent. I mean, we have the youngest squad in Europe. What, what would you Mbappe say we have the best that, squad in Europe? I think we have the best squad in Europe. Remove Mbappe, Tosin. Do we have Mbappe out of the equation? If you remove it. Like the best, when you say squad, I think you need to say like the best 11. I don't think we have the best squad, but I think we have the best 11. I think we can have the best 11 in Europe. Okay. No, because we're building like with, with these young players you're talking about and everything, it's going to be more of a squad. Yeah. Like, who's a player? Because if you get Yoro, Joel Neves, 
as your like deep line playmaker, then Sherki as your creative hub, and then Chavi Simons in the misc mix as a ball carrying, you know, eight either from attack or in midfield, like Moscardo coming through. Now that that's a squad, bro. That's a squad. Like just the the talent's gonna be crazy. And then Barcola up top. And you know, even Gonzalo, man, Gonzalo can have a season like if if our wingers are playing at a really high level, Gonzalo can just have a Manzukic, Mario Gomez type season where he just scores a shit ton of goals. Yeah. And if if he doesn't start, you just play a false nine. Like Asensio still there, like Lucho rates Asensio, like um Sherky, if we if we get him, could play there. Kang and Lee could play there. You you think we could be a Barca with Mbappe? Um yeah. I think even our weakest attackers match up well against them. Like even a Colomwani would give them a lot of issues. It doesn't why is Colo so bad? Like he's he's he shouldn't be this bad, Tosin. Yeah, mentally and technically, he's just not there. But Tosin, when we watch the comps, we don't see that heavy donkey touch. So it's like all in his head. Yeah. The thing is, he he likes to try to go past players and stuff like. Like I if I can find his, I want to find his like Strasbourg comp. Is there he was moving nice with the ball, Tosin? If you could do it in that game, he can. He can do it. What do you think is France's starting midfield going to be in the Euros? For many, Griezmann. They are like the two confirmed ones. And Warren? Or Kamavinga? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Or Rabio. Or Rabio. I think even Rabio. Yeah, that, is a... that's why I'm going to check. Not Kam yeah. Nobody rates Kamavinga, so. Um, I think Rabio has, you know, started to plummet in his career, Tosin. Like he's having Warren, a mid slash decent. If if Warren has, if Warren goes back to similar levels like he was uh, before, most def, the most def. I don't know what's wrong with him, Tosin man. He played fine last game. Remember that yeah. goal he almost scored. Oh, Tata, Tata, the confidence, Dembele finding him as well. Man, Dembele from the center, Tosin, it's... You know how before we were talking about you need to have Mbappe in the center? Because, like, you want to have your goal scorer there next to Dembele? But it's much better, I think, having just Dembele in the center, Tosin. It's, it's you okay. can play back now to the right, to the left, to the center. Yeah, I want to try to get Dembele. used to it. The thing is, he's not used to it fully yet. Like, yeah, he looked yeah, way yeah. better doing it at Dortmund. It would look way oh, more yeah, natural yeah. with him doing it at Dortmund. Right just, now, wanna, he's still trying I, to get I want it to be Dembele and Pape Colo. Because Colo with those channels toss him perfectly. Like, Dembele could feed him so many bonds. Pause, pause, pause. So, so, oh shit, you're not feeling Barcola no more? I've never said that, Tosin. It's just that. I want I want to try Colo in in this new lineup we're trying. No, there was there was Barcola there was a point in the last game where Dembele tried to find Bar because Barcola will make those runs inside his fullback. Dembele I, know, tried to find I, him I, I just want to see Colo being tried out once because you know in, in, in Colo's Dortmund game, Tosin, mm -hmm. 
he obviously missed huge chances, but, but like the runs he was making, he was was making yeah. beautiful. This Barcola one trick pony. I was dragging ball to beat his man. No, I think Barcola, as many youngsters, are just he's just going through a rough patch. Is he talking about that little um that ball drag? Okay, yeah, I know what he means. The ball drag to the outside. He always goes for that, right? Defenders have watched tape, so it's predictable. Do you think he ha he has to add new stuff to his arsenal? Not really. I mean, just I think if he starts scoring goals, everything else will flow. Because he gets in goal scoring positions, like he makes a point to attack spaces and behind and stuff. Mm. But yeah. You're toasting this La, La Mia Mal Nuno Mendes thing. No, that's food for Nuno. It's food for Nuno. No, I like it. I like it. Because either Tosin Yamal will do something crazy and cement himself as one of the best right wingers in the world, or most likely. He won't do shit for 90 minutes. No one else clapping that. Lamine will probably be defending more than you and trying to attack him. The thing is, you know, Tosin, as, as a winger, you want to have something over the fullback. So what Dembele has over the fullbacks is pace and it's the like, change of speed. And the dribbling Tosin, which is very hard to like read. What, what does Yamal have? Maybe a dribble that, that to shift inside. Hard. That's it. But Nuno, no, it's very rare that but Nuno, Nuno gets caught. We just recover then. Yeah, it's very rare that Nuno gets caught flat footed. And if he does, he'll recover. I think Nuno will just use his physique Tosin and out body Lama, Lami Yamal. A man versus a kid. Yeah, it's clamps. Like Nuno's very used to these type of dribbles. I think Lamine Yama, his game is kind of like Mares. Mm, okay, not not like a quick winger, but yeah. very very quick with his feet. Yeah, he, he, Nuno Mendes last season to us, and he got the Coleman and Coleman uh, experiment. Coleman cooked him like one, two, three times. But majority of the times, Nuno had him. And Coleman, with his pace and dribbling and quick body feints, he's like one of the hardest, if not the yeah. hardest, like with Dembele to, to defend in the world. And you, as you said, if he's training with Dembele, then... <laughs> no, yeah, going to be nothing, for him. Let me, exactly. Like, it's... Because like, you know when we had the Abdul guy on Tosin and everything, and they were saying like, because he was talking about the video I made Tosin. Like, I genuinely don't see how Barca has a chance, Tosin. I don't see it either. Like, I, we, we said the same for Sociedad. They didn't have a single chance against PSG. And it's the same thing here. Are we getting an all La Liga run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sociedad, Barca, Atletico, Madrid. La Liga would be in the mud then. Then hopefully us in the final as well. Yeah, obviously, Kingsley. Well, that's what we want. That's the number I've, one. I've always wanted the Alpha final. That would be crazy. And Kingsley, you know UEFA won that. Mbappe's last game for PSG... He's versus his new team in the no, Champions League final. You want to know what I'm scared of? Wonder Wonder he's going to do us a favor. You want to know what I'm scared of? Him not playing. Like, my, remember Mario Goza against uh, Bayern Munich 2013? He yeah, couldn't yeah, play yeah, for yeah. Dortmund. And he was pretending 
to root it to be rooting for Dortmund's interests in that final. What do you mean he couldn't play? Did was it he Dortmund was that didn't let him play? Oh, he, he was, was actually injured. injured. He was injured. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Imagine a similar thing with Mbappe. No, no. Mbappe's Mbappe's gonna want to score like a hat trick versus Madrid in the final. And because then Tosin, everybody would love him. Like Madrid fans would just applaud. Like, oh my god, what an insane player we're getting for next season. Bro, better. Actually, no, not in the final. No, not in the final. No. Nah. In a two legged affair, bro. sure. But not a final, no. Real Madrid fans are clapping when MLP does a hat trick on us, then, bro. Nah. Me, me, not a majority, but you know a portion of the group would do that, Kingsley. Oh, Shamelessly. But it's a final. How can you clap that? I'm, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> what if it's like oh, an insane hat trick? If that happens, I just hope that Carvalho... I don't care, bro. Carvalho can do anything he wants against LP. At that moment, I don't care. If he can give him a drop kick, I don't care. <laughs> Nah, yeah, that's the final we need. We want, man. Uh, but I'm just gonna share this video because I, I need to listen back to it to see if I said any crazy thing. Yo, there's no sound. At the Stank Nu. Now we're going to face once again. Oh, shit. You saying Stank Nu now? Yeah, just thank you, Sosan. I give you pet, pet, patent, patent, what's the word is. managers, different star players. I mean, Kylian Mbappé is pretty much the only PSG player I can remember from that Paris Saint-Germain squad alongside Marquinhos. So it's going to be a very interesting game. And with this game being played at the same time as Atletico Madrid and Dortmund, everybody's going to tune in. Everybody, every mother, every father, every grandmother, every military, every Jew, every anyone. Everyone will be tuning into this game, and it will be a slaughter fest, in my opinion. You can have all the respect to Barca and all of that. You know, you got to stay humble for your opponent. But this, this Barcelona team is nowhere close to Paris Saint-Germain quality-wise. I mean, we have a better manager, we have a better squad, we have a better bench, we have a better star player, we have better playmakers, we have better defenders, better midfielders. It's honestly sad if to be a Barca fan at this moment, but I mean... <laughs> I've been celebrating reaching the quarterfinals for the first time in four years as as a huge achievement. So <laughs> that's the only thing they're going to be celebrating, reaching this game. But are they going to celebrate <laughs> winning it? Absolutely no. Absolutely no. We can quickly talk about Paris Saint-Germain, you know, facing either Atletico Madrid or Dortmund and then go into the Champions League final. We absolutely love to see it. But back to Paris Saint-Germain, Barcelona. I said this is an easy tie. This is an easy tie for Paris Saint-Germain. I'm predicting something like PSG winning 3-0, 4-1 the first game. And then at the other game, it could be a draw. Barca fighting a lot, trying to do something. Or it could be a PSG narrow win. We're going to go through. It's going to be simple. And here's my quick combined 11 for the game. Gianluigi Donnarumma in goal. Ashraf Hakimi. Nuno Mendes. Lucas Hernandez. And Lucas Beraldo. Midfield consisting of Vitinha, Frenkie Diang, Ilkay Gundogan. And up in attack, Lamine Yamal, Osman Dembele, and Kylian Mbappe. I'm sorry, Osman Dembele coming up against his former team with only one season after leaving them. It will be very interesting what kind of game Dembele has. And I hope he gets his second goal for Paris Saint-Germain in all competitions against his former team. <laughs> what if he gets a second goal before that? Saint-Germain facing against... No chance, no chance. <laughs> he played like Marseille, he's not scoring. Quality-wise, it's not the best, but this is still a club that's followed by billions of people. And if we, you know, destroy them, if we beat them, we can laugh a lot. 
We can laugh a lot, we can talk a lot. And uh, Madrid fans, welcome. Welcome for the hate watch along and welcome for long watch. Because all of you guys will be supporting us against FC Barcelona. It will be yeah, really, be great. really interesting. Yes, entertaining tie as well both Barca and Paris Saint-Germain play somewhat of a kind of entertaining football but I think the big thing that you know is difference between the two two, two teams is first of all star player Kylian Mbappé is not comparable to Lewandowski or Yamal especially when it comes to the Champions League and the second thing which is even more important and bigger is Luis Enrique versus Xavi this will be Xavi's first round of uh, quarterfinal leg. I mean, the round of 16 was his first knockout game with FC Barcelona or any game or any club at all. So he's going to face Luis Enrique, who is, you know, won the trouble in his first season at Barca and uh, is aiming to do the same thing here at Paris Saint-Germain. He will be very, he will be tactically outclassed by Luis Enrique and he will be very fun to watch. Let me know in the comments down below. What's your aggregate score prediction Okay, so yo, Tosin, what did I say there? That's like over the line, disrespectful, uh, overconfident, arrogant. It could be perceived as arrogant, overconfident, which is understandable. But to be honest, like you're you're not living in an anti-reality compared to Kules, Barca fans. Like, we're literally better in every sector of the game. Every dimension, physically, tactically, mentally, even spiritually, bro. I saw it's going to be like 60. I saw something to the tune of like 61 months or something since we last played them. I'm seeing a lot of 6-1 numerology. I think we, I think we... I think we no seriously. I think we avenged that night. I think we scored six. I don't. I don't think oh, not both one. legs or not one no, game. One game. I think not one, not two, not three, not four, <laughs> not five, not six, not seven. Do, do we have I, that in the bag? I think eight across both legs, man. Six, six in the first leg. I'm serious, man. I'm serious. I think they're going to get destroyed. This is us. Like, this is our come out party this game. There's because, you know, there's always one big win, like in the Champions League. You know, last season it was City versus Madrid, like the 4 0. Yeah. You know, or Bayern when they won it, when they put eight past um, Barca. Wow. There's always that one big win, bro. Like, when Madrid won it, did they have like a big win? We had a couple. Like what? Chelsea three um, nil. I mean, I guess the Chelsea one is the one. I guess. Yeah. I mean, but we had like really memorable games because of those comebacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. were more about comebacks. Yeah, making comebacks. Yeah. Yeah. But um. No, but I, I think the tie is over in the first leg. Yeah, that's that's where it's killed. It's killed off. Wait, are you playing at home first or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Home. yeah, yeah. Okay. Like the only thing that it, is Hakimi missing due to suspension. If Hakimi was there, then we we're talking ten goals. <laughs> now I'm looking forward to see Aruho. Like what kind of wrestling moves he's doing? It's always fun. <laughs> yeah, because we've never seen Araujo versus Mbappe. And the thing, as I think Abdul mentioned before, like Mbappe is bulked up, Kingsley. Mbappe is not weak. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mbappe, yeah. Mbappe might be like as strong as Araujo. Well, I remember seeing the picture of Mbappe and Rodrigo together. I was like, bro, he's massive. Yeah. Like he could actually body him. That's why this like, Kubarsi yeah. guy, I don't know what he's doing on the pitch. Like, he will... <laughs> I mean, they don't have any other choice, so... Yeah. I mean, who else do they play now? I just don't like how anytime some La Masia product comes up, the hype... 
Yeah. Like this Kubarsi cool. dude, like Kubarsi, like this, uh, this hype, this hype, man. Calling him the Mbappe stopper and all this shit. I did just pass the fans. No, they got, they got 25 days to talk their shit, Tosin. And then we'll, we'll, take, we'll take care of them. Yeah. Like, I need all Madrid fans, Kingsley. Yeah. Will we do it? Especially if it's Mbappe. It's double prop. It's owning Barca and and propping your future player. Well, it's it's a dream. Well, I remember the last time when Mbappe trashed Barca. That was good. It was great watching as a Madrid fan. Yeah, that was amazing. Oh, that hat trick. What a day that was, man. Everybody balled. And that team was what worse. We had like Florenzi and Kurzawa. Idrissa Guy. Icardi. Moiskin. Would you, you say that this Barca team is stronger than the one before? Honestly, yeah, no. Yeah, they're yeah. Not. I don't think they are. I mean, they, they had a really good Pedri. They had fucking Pessi. They had Griezmann, Griezmann they had Griezmann, Dembele. Dembele. Yeah, they were all playing really well for them at that time. It was maybe just their defense that was us. Yeah. What was it, like Longley, Dest? Uh, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, that's the only part. Jordi Alba. Jordi Alba. But that was at Camp Nou, like that was their home stadium. And I don't see how their like their defense is better now, but it's m- only margin. It's not that much better. You're playing a 17 year old in Araujo at center back, and then you're playing Kounde, who quite honestly is really slow with his back, like you know turning and stuff. Like like his awareness is so bad sometimes. You're playing him with, and then at the on the left, the dude with zero awareness whatsoever, defensively, Cancelo. It's just food, man. Christensen yeah. is not going to be able to, and Christian, and they're all press triggers as well. When we press them, that's the thing no one's talking about. How when, how we're going to press them? Yeah, that might be like the, the, the strongest thing for us. Like we're going to press them into so, We're going to press them into so many errors, bro. Christensen under pressure is a pussy. Cancelo and Tersegan are the biggest weakness. Yeah, because the thing is, Sosin, like Sociedad, their biggest two strengths is pressing and defending. Yeah. And we made them like, look like dog water. Barca's biggest strength is probably possession. But they won't even have possession. Like, they won't do what they're good at in the game. Yeah, their possession game is not much of a factor. Yeah. Uh, Any last questions before I probably head out? Uh, Tosin, sh- sh- should we have one tomorrow? Um, I'm down. I'm down. Okay, could have one. Um, yeah. All right. Last question. Do you think they will fight for the ball and play a high line? I think Barca will. Yeah, try they'll play a high line. They will play a high line and they will try to fight for the ball. It's just about us winning our individual matchups. So they'll press one one on one all across the field, and the minute one player beats his man, whether that's one of our center backs or oh, one Berardo, of our fullbacks, Berardo yeah. have a field day. Yeah, or one of our fullbacks <laughs> dribbling, or you know, or Dembele. Because once we break that first line of wave of pressure. 
and the space we'll have to play into man, Barca man. And, and they're not a good recovering team as well Leva not, not a good recoverer Rafinha Yamal and I don't think they know how to sit yeah. in a settled block for the, that long they don't have their oh, best yeah. like it's going to be very awkward for them the only thing we need to worry about is like the intelligent movement of players like Gundogan and shit and then him getting making a high level like a good chance for like a Lewandowski or something that's it those are the only two players that can kill us they're two old heads like everyone else is not a factor yeah that's not just not a factor if you if we can just get tight to Lewa, you've won the game I feel yeah, L L L Lucas Hernandez would do a great job yeah, on that. And just keep and keep Gundogan in front of you. Don't let don't let him find space, pockets of space between the mm -hmm. lines. Mm -hmm. and shit. Just keep him in front of you, and that's it. Yeah, it's it's food. It's food. Use it, man. Well then, Dawson, see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you want to watch the game as well? Uh, on Sunday? I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. What, I'll see if, yeah. You let me know. You let me know. Like if you Roger. had a... You think they're yeah. going to rotate before that game? The thing is we're going into an international break, Tosin, so... No need to rotate? M maybe small rotations. Maybe Lutra does again without Hakimi Tosin? Or you think he will play him? No, I think he can. No, no, it, yeah, it's a small game. Like, we, we got the Marseille game as like the big preparation for that game. So maybe we, we'll do something there without Hakimi. No, but it, it should be a solid lineup. It should be a solid lineup. Yeah. All right, bro. Tosin. Take care, my bro. Yeah, take care, G. See you. Peace. Kingsley? Yeah. Always a pleasure having you on. The the Madrid uh, side and everything. Uh, yeah. You take care, G. I'm being here. Well, happy enjoy you. E even, what, what do you think about my rant? <laughs> well, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, 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 where Kingsley? I'm gonna end it now, so you take yep. care, G. Good night bye if bye. you're gonna go and sleep. Bye bye. No, no. I'm gonna work a little bit. Bye bye. All right, people, that's been it for the party sentiment FC Barcelona ultimate podcast reaction to the 60 viewers that are still here. Pleasure, pleasure having you guys here listening to this. And as I've always said. I appreciate the support and appreciation a lot. This channel is growing day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour, second by second. And yeah, people, extremely grateful, extremely appreciateful. And we're aiming for the, for the sky, for the sky, baby, for the stars. That's been it for me, boy, PSG. Yeah. <laughs> and as usual, ale, ale. As Prince said it. Allez Paris